Yo, what up? This is Lee Smith. We're back at Mona Lisa Studios, Brooklyn, New York. This is Mission Statement, Episode 9. We have a very special guest tonight, somebody that I'm happy to have witnessed come from a youngster to a heavy hitter in the game. Alex Olsen in the building. Thank you for coming through, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Let's talk about your fucking hip hop song. Which one? I don't know. Oh, come on. One shot, one kill. Yeah. This is not my interview, though. <laughs> We're sharing this. We just listen to it. Like on Lakai. I don't have we, it anymore. We got in a fight. This dude's fucking huge, right? So I punched him in the face like eight times and it didn't do anything. And then he just rocked me. And I fucking fell to the ground. And then he pulled out a knife and was like, Yo, I can fucking stab you right now, dog. You know, yeah, I like, but I, you already hit me. I'm on the ground. I'm like, yeah, and this is done. He, and then he made songs about me, so I made a song about him. And crushed him. <laughs> I don't know if you ever heard it. I just uh, made it. I'm pretty I, sure. I swear to God. I like traveled. <laughs> Yo, you got to get it. I don't know it. if What's you ever name? heard it. His name's Antoine. Antoine. Antoine, yeah. Uh, you remember when we saw each other at the crystal store? Yeah, of course. Because I was like, oh, that's Lee Smith. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> no, you were cool. Don't worry. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> You had actions on or something. <laughs> she had some holes on it. I didn't want to say anything. No, I'm kidding. But yeah. No, uh, yeah, I saw you and you like went in. You're like, that's a cool store. I'm like, yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> you know, like typical like, like kid. He's like, no, it's a stupid store. And uh, yeah, you're like, oh, that's cool. And you, you walked off. Because I was like so embarrassed of all that stuff. Because my mom was into astrology. Like that's where all of my, the hippiness yeah, comes from. Yeah, but that's from. some California shit. Yeah, <laughs> my I'm mom was into that shit too. Fucking like, I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm, you know, after skating, you're probably like, dude, what happened to Alex? Oh, he airbrushes now. You know what I mean? Like, vans. You know, like, that's, your mom's into that stuff? Of course. She's that's holistic. Why she fucking ran away to San Francisco. She fucking hitchhiked from Detroit to San Francisco. Oh, really? I didn't know this. Yeah, in the 60s. She was oh, like wow. the hippie of the family. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. So. She met, and I know Sam's mom's fucking. Sam's mom was like. She, she's basically fucking Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I've seen, I, I don't know her that well, but I've seen her, and she's just like, hey, man. You know what I mean? Like, she got the glasses with the fucking hair. And just well, like, you've been to Sam's house, oh, right? No. It's a fucking compound that her and a bunch of people all collectively bought. It's so whack that we don't think like that now. Like, I had to look at all that stuff. I'm like, wow, they kind of had to figure it out. It's just like. <laughs> I mean, I'd slowly like get going that mm -hmm. route, but like, it's kind of crazy how, uh, yeah. So she lives on a compound with. Well, a bunch, it was. Bunch now of, it's her own house. Like everybody. Oh, right. Like everyone either, got like, get families and stuff. Away or fucking moved away or like. No, yeah, like just, you have to like use a bike to turn on the lights or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like fucking. It's like the scene shit. out of Hook. You know what I mean? Never Never Land. Rufio somewhere around. Some real hippie shit. Yeah. I know like you've been through, like you've told the story a bunch of times and like you were flow for like Toy Machine, Black Label, yeah, all those yeah. brands. And uh, I mean, it seems like you might have even like talked yourself, like from what I've seen, like you were like saying like you weren't good enough for some of those companies, but clearly you, you are good enough for some of those companies. Like, not at that point. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like definitely was not. <laughs> no, you don't think so? <laughs> Fuck no. I saw like, I saw like what Johnny Layton was doing and I, what I was doing, I was like, yeah, he should probably be him. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I wasn't cutting it. Mm. Who's more? But, but sorry, skating was like, you know, it, was, it wasn't as diverse as it is now. Yeah. We're like, you know, I just was like watching Nate Jones almost and I was like, oh, this guy, like, if he came a little later, this mm -hmm. guy would have like a full, like, he'd still be around. I mean, not to disrespect him, but like he would have a full, like, where it's more Career about like now. style <clears throat> as opposed to just banging out like hands. I, I mean, I think when I grew up in skating, it was a really weird time because like companies got really rail obsessed and like kids just were like, they didn't skateboard, they just jumped down stuff. You know what I mean? Like watch any kid or any, yeah, any kid that was like maybe my generation. It's just mm -hmm. like going downstairs, stairs, 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 and like they couldn't really push or they yeah. couldn't do like, the flat true. ground was super weak, you know what I mean? I remember that period, and I, I actually didn't really like it that much either. And I, it was like, it's okay. it wasn't fun. Well, that was, that was just, that was the main yeah. stream part of it. And then, like, you had a lot of other, it was as diverse, I guess. But, like, now I think everything is a little more 
gel. There was together. a lot of things that were like off limits, kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, whatever. There was yeah. There was barriers mm -hmm. that, that aren't as maybe tall. There's yeah. other barriers now, but yeah. regardless, it's it's definitely a lot more relaxed. Yeah. Who was like more nerve wracking to skate with for the first time? Ed Templeton, Carol, or like Dill? Oh, Carol probably. <laughs> you know what I mean? Carol doesn't talk. He like just looks at you when you're just like, ah, uh, like, you know what I mean? Like I don't know what to do. Do I say something? And then you say something to him, and he doesn't give you like a real reaction. You're like, and you're just like, oh, he hates me. You know what I mean? You don't like when people don't talk. You don't know what this like. Yeah. You're just left to your own opinion. Like, oh, he thought that was funny, or yeah. you know. And people get really weird about that stuff. But uh, I think Carol would be the most intimate. Like, I think he could agree with that. You know. Yeah, for me, it's I a mean, little different because right, we right, grew right. up together. But I could see. But you could probably see yeah, it from when people how... like, hey. Like, you know sure. what I mean? All nervous. Yeah. I remember, like, yeah, when you started skating uh, a lot with Mike and Rick, and I was around at the time. We were all skating together and shit. We were, like, hitting up random skate parks and kind of cruising around together. Right, right, right. We were both, like, trying out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember that. We the Chino Park. Yeah, yeah. We would go to the Chino Park, and fucking Carol would pick us up. It was a good time. Oh, it was the best time. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Was that like a uh, gold Escalade Carol or 745 Beamer Carol? 745. It was 745, right? 45. <laughs> yeah. That was that time. That was a, a good time. <laughs> that was a good time. It's funny. I, think I, was, I just missed the like Escalade Carol. Oh, yeah. Escal I would see him around, but oh, that's cool. Escalade Carol, yeah. Uh, that, that I was feel like he was wearing an orange shirt a lot <laughs> during that time or something. I don't know. But yeah. To, to no disrespect to the, all the brands that like you were getting flowed from, but to finally like get on Girl and Lakai after that was a pretty good like you must have felt pretty like vindicated or it was kind of like a yeah I don't know I was probably just a spoiled brat but uh yeah I think I was like tripped out because I think it was just like yeah that's not attainable that's mm -hmm. like not reachable you know what I mean like stay in black. Black Label Zone. Yeah. That's like where your lane is. Because I mean, most people do it the other way around where they, <clears throat> where they, you know, they go for something that they want and that doesn't work and then they settle for less. You kind of did it the other way around. Just not settle until finally. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I mean, just, actually, it, was... it, it wasn't like it was planned. Like, mm -hmm. dude, I think I was trying to get on Ruby at one point. Just be like, yeah, you know I what I mean? <laughs> just like, I think that I was on girl. I was like trying to get on skate mental at one point. I was like, Rick, let me get on. You know what I mean? And he's like, oh, I'm like, oh, you idiot. Because I was like, oh, Brian's on skate mental kind yeah. of. I want to start this new, like I want to be on the new thing. And then, yeah, thank, I mean, I shouldn't say thank God, but thank God that didn't happen. Yeah. So you finally get on and then like from one day to the next, how does your life change? Like, It wasn't like no? overnight, no. It was just like... Uh, I was skating with Greg and all those guys and trying to film clips and I think really I guess there was one like pivotal moment where like I remember like skating with Ed and him sit sitting me down and just like you know if you really want to do this you're gonna have to film and shoot photos and go out and do that and, which was kind of foreign to me because I didn't film mm -hmm. you know I just like would skate and he's just like he's just he kind of like was like you need structure basically mm -hmm. And let me, you know, fewer words. But, uh, so yeah, so he was just like, we, I would go out with him and try to get stuff, but like, I, like, I get, I guess I just wasn't groomed in that mm -hmm. way. But I think Ty was like, kind of was like, he was kind of hyped maybe, because I wasn't like the, you like, the, the, like, the, the, I don't know, girl. Like I, the, I don't, I don't want to say cookie cutter girl guy, but like, the, the, like, uh, I, I was different, I guess, mm -hmm. and so maybe he took a, maybe a little liking to that, because mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know, into. Well, you, you, that's the thing about you. You have your own, you know, personality. You, you, you. But I don't think it was like that at yeah. that point. I think it was just more like, oh, here's like a hesh kid that they're like hooking up, mm -hmm. and it just was different. It wasn't like Jeremy Rogers or, yeah, you know. A guy who kind of just goes with the flow of what everybody's doing. <clears throat> I just think the, the standard mold of what the girl guys were at that point. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not trying to even big up myself. I'm just saying, like, there was, like, a very, like, particular person that got girl flow, I feel like, at yeah. that one point. 
And then I was like the weird oddball. And then maybe he took a liking to it. I don't know. Ask Ty when he comes on this. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? Like, I know Carol was hot, psyched because mm-hmm. I was like into King Diamond and stuff. And like, he secretly is into King Diamond. Yeah. Like the the hash part of Carol was like all like, you know. Yeah. So from one day to the next, like, how does not one day to the next? But obviously it was gradual. But I mean, it was mostly Scooch, by the way. He he was. He is the one that like kind of like. Saw the potential mm-hmm. and was like, ex- you know, psyched mm-hmm. and excited and was like, please don't do that. <laughs> but no, he was the one who was like psyched. And uh, yeah. What, um, uh, I mean, like, what did you, once you, once you finally got hooked up, like, like, what did you start doing? Like, was anything different in your life? Like, your day No, I just routine? started getting in the van with them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like. I remember one, the, the one day, that was, I think Humphreys was like, oh, I'm going to go skate with the girl guys, which I was like so terrified of them. You know what I mean? They were like mythical characters at that point. You like don't mm-hmm. get to hang out with these guys. You know what I mean? And I just remember like sitting, like waiting for the van, but I sat on like the other side of the block just being like, I'll just wait. I'll just be here. <laughs> Where was this? The, at Carol's house. <laughs> so like the cross street, he's over here. I'm like at the end of the cross street, like waiting, like, okay. I'm like, because I lived a couple blocks away. Yeah. So everyone didn't show up yet. I'm like, I'm not going to be like the weird, annoying kid just like hanging out. <laughs> I'm just going to sit like over on the side of the street and like wait until the van shows up and like pull up late. <laughs> or not late, but pull up like right on time somehow. Well, I think you did a good job because I mean, from what I remember, you seemed pretty confident in everything that you were doing when you were like, I guess so. When I you were know. hanging around and skating and stuff. <laughs> well, once I got to like finally get to know them, it was like, you know, I mean, I, I always say Carol's like my older brother, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> or we'd like, we, I don't know, we'd get in fights and he's just like, I remember on Australia, we got in a fight. He's like, you don't shut the fuck up. I'm like, oh, you don't want me to talk to you? Fine. And we just didn't talk the rest of the trip. Well, what did you, which what is did so you get in the fight about, though? Oh, he just is like, you just can't, you always got to make a comment. You know, and it's like, well, you want me to talk to you? Fine. And we just didn't talk to each other. <laughs> Which then, like, written, I'm like, maybe Mike should have handled that better. <laughs> you know, 19-year-old me, I probably couldn't understand, but whatever. Yeah, it was just like, yeah, brother shit, where mm. you're just like, fine, fuck you. <laughs> and so you're pro at this time? Or when, when, when did you? No, I was am. This okay. was like, I, I had, uh, so I started skating with those guys through Supreme hanging out with them, and then, yeah, I don't know. And then, um, what's it called? Uh, it just like kind of just slowly happened. I think Ty would take me out. And then we t- they took me on like the U.S. trip, mm-hmm. and that was like a three-week trip, and basically that was like the tryout. And uh, Oh, that was the real tryout. That was the real tryout, but I didn't <laughs> know. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> and I had been on enough trips to know how to be hit you know, mm-hmm. behave and like, oh, I need to get footage. Yeah. And there was nothing else to do on that trip. That yeah. was just like, you either skate or complain. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's like one or the other, so. Nobody was like out partying and shit like that. No. Fuck, wait, you know, <laughs> partying in El Paso? Like, <laughs> no. That was like, a br- it was like an amazing trip, but it was like one of the most brutal trips and it was like my first trip, like real film trip. But like just brutal, just like, you know, like four in the morning, get to like a Motel 6, go to sleep, wake up at 10, go eat somewhere, and then get on the road, get somewhere maybe at five or six, try to skate, you're sore, you're just, you know what I mean? Or whatever, skate one spot to another spot, then drive another like six hours, mm-hmm. and did like a whole US trip. But it was productive. Yeah, it was really productive. Mm-hmm. And Ty was on this like real straight arrow of like, I'm getting this video done. And like we'd be like, you know, like no one would be into the spot and he would just light it up anyways and just wait. You know what I mean? Like tough it out. It was fucking crazy. That worked? Yeah. People, because people were just like, I don't want to skate this. And then just one person would get their board out because they felt like awkward. <laughs> I just, I remember times where I'm like, no one wants to skate so this. So when would he put it, when would he? And just a What would make him just like, put, the, can't put the lights away in the generator? Like wh- how, no many, one. how many Any tricks? Times, just, how many tricks would people it's have so to get? It's so awkward. Just be like, I'm not skating. I'm not skating. And then you're just like, someone is just like in their mind, like, what could I do? What could I do? What, you know? And then it's like, I'll just 
try and see how I feel. But what I mean is like, when would that's Ty be satisfied a lot of it. though? If like people started getting tricks, how many tricks would it be until he's like, okay, yeah, now we can- Well, like, someone would up. try something. Mm -hmm. It's just Ty was trying to get footage. Okay. It's a, you know, it worked because someone would be like, what could I try? They would try it, you know, Ty would get validated and then the person would try mm -hmm. something. You know, what do they say? It's like, you know, 50% yeah. just is showing up, 80%, I don't know what the percentage is, but you know what I mean? It was just like, the lights would go on and you're just like, fuck dude, no one wants to skate this thing. Yeah. And then just sure enough, you hear like that fucking like back door open, like, and you're just like, ah, oh, fuck you. Why couldn't you just fucking not touch the board? It's fucking two in the morning. Let's go to sleep. You know? Well, it worked. It did. <laughs> I'm glad he did it. But at the, and at you got the, a lot of moment, tricks on that tour, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it, yeah, it all worked out. But uh, yeah, I don't know. And then how much longer were you amped? When did you turn pro, exactly? I think after the video had come out. But we had done two of those like really brutal what was that, US squared? trips. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, those trips were... Oh. I think we did one of those and it was like really successful and a lot of people got stuff. And so Ty tried to do the same formula, but Eric had just got on. So we had to wait for more mm -hmm. cost and footage and whatever. Mm -hmm. And it was like the same, like brutal, like, hey, can we get water? And just like fucking, no, we're driving through Atlanta tonight. You know what I mean? We're going to Atlanta now. Well, it did the trick. You turned pro. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Ty. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it worked, I guess. <laughs> You, you, you it worked so well. That it, no, because I think there's a, a thing where like it works so well, the results do work, but then like it, you know, there's a there is a backlash mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? People like kind of fall there's apart. There's a resentment, and then like no, I mean like feelings. physically, where it's just like really? I'm not gonna fucking do. Like, I mean, if you look at those videos, a lot of it like it falls apart after. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's like so you're so in the moment, and then once you're like you step away from, it, you're like, oh, I don't want to do that again. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like a bad relationship with a girlfriend. You're like, whoa, that, not a bad one, just like a really wild emotional one. Yeah. Like, like, whoa, a, fuck. Like an emotional roller coaster. Yeah, just like, <laughs> she was a lot of fucking work. I don't need to do that again. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but like, you know, just like no, that up and down. We're like, yeah. So how, well, after that, like, what are you doing? I remember partying with you at the Roosevelt and like fucking. <laughs> That's what I did after. That's what I did after. You know, we were going, going to the fucking, Roosevelt. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> daytime parties. Fuck uh, okay, oh, you relax, relax, parties. guys. Actually, I wasn't you were that bad. Dimitri, I was still that was like Carol and Dimitri and Bebo and those. Yeah, days. you guys were. Yeah, exactly. I wasn't <laughs> at that point. I mean, I had daytime parties, but I wasn't at fucking like. I was still trying to skateboard. <laughs> or I was still interested in skating at that point. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't know what, what happened. It was like a big long break and then like, Rick's like, we're gonna do a chocolate video and Ty's gonna film it. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> I think, yeah, or I don't know. What video is that? It's called Pretty Sweet. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, but I was, I was like, it was supposed to be, because Yad Wright had come out. Yeah. And then, you, you know, they would alternate, and then it was like, oh, a chocolate video, and Ty's going to mm -hmm. do it. I was like, all right, cool. It's funny, because I never thought of Pretty Sweet as a chocolate video. I don't know. I guess it is, right? Well, yeah, it, got, whole, it, it got, it it's got all thing, yeah. and melted. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so. And also, with your, you think, like, with you coming up, your skate career kind of propelled your dad back into the spotlight a little bit also, right? Like, uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, probably a little bit. I don't think it was me per se that did that, but I think it was just like, I think we at skateboarding had gr gotten older mm -hmm. to respect their elders. Mm -hmm. And it was more interesting, you know what I mean? Like now it's like, like with surfing, I feel like there's like, <clears throat> surfing has such a long lineage that they can, uh, you know, respect all the older people where skateboarding was maybe a little too young still. Mm. And also from your part of skateboarding, like you, you know, mm -hmm. I don't think you look at my dad's footage and you're like, oh, I remember that. You know what I mean? Like it had evolved so much that like someone that's probably younger now can look at your footage and be like, oh, that was such a sick time to be in skateboarding where yeah. it wasn't as relatable for you to that point of skating. Maybe, I don't know. 
But even like maybe even like as an artist, that kind of put more of a spotlight on everything that he was just doing in general. Yeah, like, he's still doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, I saw you guys went to Venice to that that big art fair out there. That was that's pretty sick. Nah, I guess so. I don't know. I was I just mean, like, no, no, because he's, he's a fucking like mover and a shaker, and he's just like, oh, we're going to Venice. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, for what? He's like, we're gonna do an art show. I'm like, all right. And I'm like, oh, well, and then like, he, uh, yeah, I don't know. I would just be like, oh, Venice Biennale, that's a pretty big deal. Yeah. It's and then I remember like going. I'm like, wait, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> like at, at the moment that it was happening, <laughs> and I, they built this like ramp and everything, and there was like a live band. I'm like. We're doing Third Street Promenade art. <laughs> Fuck you! I was fucking pissed. You didn't. Pre- you didn't enjoy Venice, like. You I did. loved it. It was such a fun time, but like, doing it where then like you're like, you know, like there's a live band playing and like you're like doing a demo, but like with paint, you're just like, oh, this is the most hokey shit I've ever seen. You know what I mean? This ain't fucking art. This is like, I don't know what you call this. Bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, you're just like. I mean, and it there's was just like fun. all these like all these Wheel people mark. just standing there. Yeah, it was like a, a gate <laughs> where people. It was like a live painting. Conceptual art. I don't know, but it, I was just like, I was fucking pissed. <laughs> I mean, I was just like, dude, you got. He's like, we. I had like started arguing with him like right on the spot. <laughs> oh my! And but I was like, I was like trying to do it. I'm like, I can't believe my fucking conned us into doing this but now you, we have to do it do you guys i mean you guys do quite a few things together though do you have an agent that kind of looks for things like yeah <laughs> his name's You're steve like, olsen <laughs> call him instagram him i mean i seen that mango campaign you guys just had that was through him uh, yeah that was actually funny because he'd be like okay so mario is shooting this thing and they want us to be in it and this is how much they're asking this is how much they're willing to give us i'm like ask for more like yeah. it's their first offer it's a fucking corporate company yeah, yeah. Ask spanish for more. company yes In barcelona, barcelona they're there you go right. but like i was just 40, like i wasn't there's like 40 mangoes on every block right but i was just oh yeah see you yeah, forgot <laughs> but i was just like you know i just ask for more like it's their first <laughs> offer don't say yes to the first offer like i've learned that from zoo watching zoolander mm. you know <laughs> from what's his name Ballstein Zoolander is yeah, he's like, educational yeah <laughs> I swear <laughs> it's the, the ending scene <laughs> ask for more or whatever you know but uh Maury Ballstein Maury Ballstein exactly <laughs> what are you, he's like well, I hope the, you client, the client's got your balls in the vice <laughs> what do you do the girl goes ask for more <laughs> yeah well I hope you got more euros out of that we did cause I was like no dude <laughs> Ask for, I'm like, no, ask him for more. <laughs> and he's like, okay, but they're not going to do it. And he calls me back. He's like, we should have asked for more. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, well, they agreed to it, obviously. But yeah. <laughs> Where did you guys shoot that at? In London. Oh, okay. But it looked like it was like in Santa Monica. Yeah, it did look like it was in LA or something. Yeah, it was like, what? <laughs> it would have been cheaper if you guys all flown us to like LA <laughs> to get the LA vibe. It was really weird. Anyways, uh, that, was, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was all the... All, uh, what else have you guys done together? A lot. Uh, any <laughs> of that stuff is always so painful. Because mm-hmm. they always want, oh, you skateboarders. We want to see you, like, skateboarding. You're like, no. Like, there's a lot of other stuff you didn't see from that that was, like... It's all just real cringy shit. You know what I mean? It's someone having a point of view that doesn't come from skateboarding. Yeah. That thinks like, oh, this is what skateboarding is for mainstream. And that's when you see the fucking like Pringles commercials of like the skateboarder going over the camera, like headshot, you know? It's all that. Do you, I mean, what do you feel is more important? Like your integrity or getting some money out of it? Like at, at what point? At this point, Instagram's like fully like, banished like integrity you know what i mean who has integrity anymore I know, but for your own you personal fucking, fucking doing that shit like that's done you know what i mean like integrity went out the window as soon as the fucking the selfie can't camera came onto the fucking iphone the iphone 4 done but for uh yourself like you 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 know you like fuck it like cash out or, or you're like, i mean there's that one at some point you're just like yeah. what like what i'm gonna keep it core mm. 
sleep under a ramp. <laughs> like, nah, dude. Like, it's fine if you're if you're about that. By all means, more power to you. But like, uh, you know, I'm just like, all right, this is, you know, it's easy. It's available. Yeah. Might as well strike while the irons. Yeah, I still young. get the money. So. Yeah. Right, but sure. you know, I don't know. <laughs> it depends on what it is. Yeah. True. But uh. Yeah, I feel like integrity's gone down, you know. A little bit down. Mm, just a little. <laughs> I feel like you... And it's not even bad. Like, go on Instagram and really just, like, look at, like, what people are doing. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean... <laughs> no? I don't follow I mean, those people. That's the thing. Like, I, it's I, called I see the, it. It's though. called the goddamn feed. Or whatever, the explore page. I see, I Good see luck. it a little bit, but I don't really... Yeah, I don't pay too much attention. But <laughs> okay, now you're making me, like, a <laughs> no, weird fucking no, no. Instagram whore? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, okay. No, 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 no. I see where okay. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> I remember you like always kind of like had a little bit even though you're from LA, you had like a little bit of resentment towards LA or like maybe I feel like you have too much depth for Los Angeles. For, for, Why thank for you. Atlanta. I feel like I'm a thespian <laughs> in that point. No, I don't know. Yeah, but you you were always kind of like, you know, I, I for example, I wasn't surprised when I heard that you moved to New York because I you know, I remember you always were kind of like, just not really into the the scene out there or whatever. You know, Los Angeles. Yeah, and, yeah. Teddy's got kind of boring. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I mean, I I just like I didn't have my license until like I was 22, and yeah, I don't know. I just liked the fact that you could go out and skateboard whenever you needed to, or go. You know, everything was more spontaneous. Mm -hmm which I think my mind works better. And yeah. now I think I'm not that. Well, that's what but I like as at. a kid, it's way more attractive. Yeah. And I don't know, just like skateboarding was interesting because it wasn't popular at that time. Or it was maybe Popolardo and only a few, like Bobby Puglio and I'm, I'm sure I'm leaving out a lot, of, like Jack Sabak and just all the East, East Coast heads. I, you know, like, um, is it Static? Yeah, static. Like, like static was coming uh, out, and like video. that, you know, yeah. that kind of shined a light mm -hmm. for East Coast skating at that point in time, and it just seemed, I don't know, it just it's more interesting. Yeah, because you know, West Coast was just going down, jumping down stairs and stuff, and East Coast was more about like not about, but you'd see pushing and lines and mm -hmm. you know, and then also you had Philly going off at the same time, which was way more interesting than. I don't know if interesting is even the right word, but it just like it had its own vibe that was so much more different than, yeah, you know, Cali do you, skating. Do are there things like now that you're older? Do you appreciate things about California more now, or I mean, do you still uh, have those feelings? I don't have it? resentment towards Cali. Yeah. I just it, it's not for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I just I was just there for a month. I'm like, mm, I don't think I could move back. What about the first? But the first week is always amazing. Oh yeah, you're like, yeah, I'll go to Air One, you know what I mean? Like meet up with some people and then you're like, fuck, I'm bored now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It depends. Like obviously when you don't have your stuff anywhere, it can be like, mm -hmm. I don't know. You need a car and it's just like, this is annoying. That's true. Now I'm sleeping on a cot at my dad's, like a fold out cot where it's just like. In Malibu? Or in, what, in, in Hollywood. Oh, okay. But yeah, I don't know. I just. LA's not that interesting. I mean, I've explored it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, as you have too, so it's just like... I kind of feel like there, I like fine. LA more now than I used to. Oh, really? Yeah. Why is that? But you come from the city, yeah. so like going to LA, you were not down. Yeah, I don't know. I, it just seemed more relaxed. New York is, New York is super stressful. It is seems like... SF's not? SF, I don't know. I, I, that's like not even on my radar, like living-wise. I'm saying you, you're from there. You yeah, live yeah, there. yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I just, sometimes I, I think about moving back to LA, but I'm not, I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Does this mean financially stable? <laughs> I don't know what that, what does that mean? Is that what that means? <laughs> that means a lot of things. Yeah. All right, right, okay. Yin and yang, pistons moving, I don't know. Right. But oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I just don't feel like, mm hmm there's not really anything going on out there. It feels, when I go there now, I feel like I'm flying to, like, I'm in Australia, and no disrespect to Australians, but like, when you go to Australia, you're like, 
well, you guys are fucking like four years behind. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I mean, it, it probably doesn't feel like that now because everyone's on their phone, but like mm -hmm. before, you know, the smartphone, it was like, whoa, you guys are like, trends are just <laughs> happening here. These trends have died. You know what? Clearly. Uh, <laughs> you know what I want to bring up? Like, okay. speaking of smartphones, I remember oh, that yeah. you had the first social media beef I had ever seen. Oh, what up? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Costin? You know who it was with? I think it was with Leo Romero. I think the Costin one was before Leo. I don't see, that was the, I didn't know that about that well, one. Well, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> organizing your notes. Because I remember it was super weird that I was like, wait, like it was a new concept for me. I was like, these dudes are arguing like, Via internet. <laughs> like on a platform where like the whole world can, I don't think it was even you. I think that like Leo was coming at you about something. I mean, I, I initiated it. You know what I mean? Like I just like, I think I was just in like such a like bad state of mind in skateboarding. I'm just like, this is the most stale shit. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And then I just like his little like brand ad triggered my emotions. Where it was like a plan B ad, but it was for his grip tape company. But I just re like read completely into it, not thinking it was a joke, but thought it was serious. I was like, which, you know, five so skaters quit <laughs> to ride for bro staff, or I can't remember, bro tape. What is it? I don't know. He had a grip tape. Exactly. He has a grip tape company. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. No. Uh, I don't know. I didn't bro, even know you guys. Bro, bro something. Bro uh -huh. tape. I don't know. How did you know that, what it is? Bro style. Bro style. That's the this guy he knows. <laughs> you gotta get out. <laughs> no, that's what he does. No, that's no, his right. <laughs> no, that's okay. But whatever. It was so you guys had a back and forth. And I, no, but I, he posted on his Instagram and I was just in a mood and I was just like, who <laughs> cares? Responding to like, who up five skaters have quit. I was just like, no, who cares? Are you serious for a grip tape company? <laughs> no one cares, but obviously it's a joke. And then he fucking, <laughs> I emotionally tickled him with the fucking like starting a new company. Did you guys ever see each other after that? No. <laughs> I fuck him up. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you gotta squash the beef. <laughs> squash? What do you mean? Squash over fucking. <laughs> fucking an opinion, an, a loose opinion what was that this makes sense. Costume nothing? thing about it. I didn't even know about that. Like oh, that was just like other shit. It was just like, I would just speak my mind, not like really realizing that it's like going out to the world. Oh, and you know what it was? It was because Barra, I heard Barra like walked by Dylan and Dylan was like, oh, what's oh, up? Oh, yeah, that thing, And then like yeah. he just walked by him. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? Fuck him. And then some kid's like, you skid the barracks? And I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, no, <laughs> not no. You, or, I can't remember what the quote was, but it was like something. And then that like, triggered Eric, but it was like, yeah, I don't know. There's like a whole like conspiracy. Carol had a whole conspiracy to it. What was this conspiracy? That like Steve was like telling like Eric, I, I don't know, cut the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, no, but you know, like it was like something like, <laughs> so, like, you know, Steve was in Eric's ear yeah. to like throw a rebuttal because yeah. he was like, it wasn't, it didn't feel natural like something. It that wasn't Eric was in Eric's, you know, mm -hmm. personality to do that. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. 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 Who cares? <laughs> and like I said, I read it like within the last maybe year, two years ago. And I was like, oh, this is actually like what he came out with was a really honest and sweet message. It was just like everyone took it the wrong way, mm -hmm. you know. So thank you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was, it was like came from a really... Yeah honest and like nice place, a caring place, but when, and I didn't even know, and people were like, oh, like doing that shit, but were on the you internet. Were still on like girl at the time together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like oh. called them, and it was like, <laughs> it was done. Like it was immediately like, like Sam was just like, yo, what are you guys doing? Like, take care of this. Yeah. Stop being idiots. Yeah. And I called them, and it was like completely fine. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I, yeah, I forgot about that one. <laughs> Yeah, when you finally few. when you finally left Girl, how was that? Was that a hard breakup, or was like it, you seemed like a dude that just kind of like you you know what you want, and then you just you know you well, ripped the band aid you. right off. Thank you. <laughs> I am hard? not that guy. <laughs> you should come to like 
you should just, you know, watch how I work. Cause I'm like, oh, I don't know. I'll go back and forth until like, yeah. Until like, you know, just like fully. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, yeah, of course it was hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe there was resentment towards them at that point, which mm -hmm. made it a little easier. But like at the same time, of course, I mean, like I was just like, I don't know what I'm doing. But I think, I mean, I think we all go through stages where we're not really inspired by skateboarding and I'm sure you've had the same thing where you're like, what am I doing? Like, sure. you know, and so I think it was just one of those like dips and like it just like that video had come out and I just was not particularly enthused about it. Enthused, yeah. And uh, when's the last time you spoke to Carol? I don't know. It's been a while. Or no, no, no. Oh, wow. You remember, this is what it's turning into? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Do you have a message like, do you guys keep into the in camera? Touch or like... uh, I try to, but uh, he's, you know, I'm difficult. He's difficult. So it's hard. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's no, I mean, there's no bad blood on my side. I can't speak for him, but yeah. I mean, it was just like, I just, yeah, it sucked. It was whack. You know what I mean? Like, and, and with time, I mean, I wasn't just, ha I wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy I saw out what I wanted it to do. But how it all like happened, and, you know, I just, mm, yeah, I don't know. And what about just, with Ty? Was, yeah. Did you guys, are you guys cool? Have you guys? Oh, cool? I, I, there's, there's no, there was never like, mm -hmm. mm, it was just like working beef, you know, like when you work close with someone, you're just like, fuck off. I want, you know what I mean? It wasn't. Yeah. Now this feels like, like a weird e entertainment, <laughs> like, you know. Ah, man, we're just fucking, you know. I know, I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> asking there, was, there wasn't a part where it wasn't, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think there was really any ever any like bad blood between mm -hmm. me and Ty. Mm -hmm. Maybe Mike or Rick, maybe there was a, probably a, there's probably a resentment in mm -hmm. some nano yeah. form, but like. Yeah, I don't know. I th yeah. We kind of touched on this, like, Ty's process earlier. W even with Pretty Sweet, do you think that, like, his approach to how you guys did it, do you think it made it a better video? Which one? Pretty Sweet. Um, I don't know. You know, I think when I got on, I grew up with watching Feedback, The Reason, Modus, you know, and then Be Aware of the Flare and, and uh, Yeah, Right. And all those videos have a lot of character and mm -hmm. there, there's a lot of like, it's very playful. Mm -hmm. And so I was like so gassed to like film for Fully Flared. But, you know, it was Lakai, so it was, you know, quote unquote, supposed to be different. Mm -hmm. And I think that's when he got into like really like using different toys or what, you know, different camera setups and like really exploring that, which is totally cool because he almost, I feel like, created somewhat of a genre of, of filming, you sure. know what I mean? With the drones and Drone, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, or maybe he was just a part of that, the forefront of that. I'm sure it was happening in other sports as well. But, um, which is cool to be a part of, of course, but I had the, like, I had envisioned and romanticized of like going on road trips and like all the fun stuff you see with fireworks and whatever, mm -hmm. like hotel, like, shenanigans or whatever and like it was really none of that it was very like you know yeah very militant and like well yeah because the girl videos always look like the road trips are like oh it fun. looks the most fun yeah, we like, watch it like, right now we're like, 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 oh, blasting fireworks yeah, exactly. down the hallway and yeah, yeah yeah slapping fucking keenan with like, right the throw up shit, on the yeah. Th yeah yeah i was like oh, i can't wait i can't wait to get thrown up <laughs> or you know throw dumped on me you know what i mean it's like nickelodeon or something you know like getting slimed i was like yeah <laughs> this is what I signed up for. And it wasn't that. And I was like, fuck yeah. I like, you know, I like this dance music this guy plays. I'm going to get to fucking hear it. But now as adults, we might like that now. Like if we go on tour, we're like. Oh, oh yeah, you're probably like. You're like, yeah, we're. Thank in <laughs> Ty, thank you. You know what I mean? At that you're point. In, you're, in the ho you're in bed by 10. You're oh, yeah, you're like, seven. thank you, dude. <laughs> no, I don't think you'd be in bed by 10. I don't think he would be. I think he would. Yeah, I think he's like more happy there. You're like, oh, kids are more consistent now. Yeah. We can get more. Mm. Takes, oh, so it yeah, only yeah, takes yeah. six months to film a part, <laughs> not fucking five years. Um, what are we? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. 
I know you and Dylan were like th- like talking about starting a company. Did you guys have names that you were throwing around? Um, so I think Bill would always get into Dylan's ear and our and BA's ear and my ear about starting a company. And uh, that was right around the time that Bill filmed like this little section for the tr- like cinematographer in Transworld, mm-hmm. where everyone had a part. And uh, that's when I remember the start of it. And then Dylan got really, like, he was like, we should, you know, whatever. He called me. He's like, you want to do this? And I'm like, yeah, but I don't, you know, like, if I would only do it if it was through girl, like, you mm. know, they, you know, I, would be, I wouldn't be here if they weren't, you know, there. So, like, I, I won't quit unless mm-hmm. it's through them. And so Dylan called Mike and asked him, and I didn't know this, and then, Mike called me and he's like, you know, in, in a weird, awkward way of how Mike communicates sometimes. He's like, are you going to be in this? Are you going to be in Pretty Sweet? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I'm like, what are you fucking talking about, dude? <laughs> and like slowly, I was like, well, Dylan called me and asked to start a company. And I couldn't even wrap my head around that at the moment because we have Pretty Sweet coming out in two months. And... uh I was like, no, nah, dude. I'm Were you upset with Dylan that he did that? No, because mm. I wanted. I was like, like I, mean, I was. I was like, I'm here. Yeah. And, you know, I'm like, I'm that girl. Fine. If Dylan wants to do this, and like Mike and Rick are fine, I'm down to do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think it was going to be me, Austin, and D- Dylan. Under the girl, obviously, you just said. Well, that's under. how Dylan like yeah. saw it, or whatever. Asked Mike, mm-hmm. and I think Pretty Sweet came out. I was, you know, not happy of how it was shown or whatever. Did Mike and Rick ever entertain the idea? I mean, it's, I know I think it's Mike a, kind it's of a like pretty was good like, idea actually to tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. at the time, it's amazing. Like, right, right, right. But and I, you're gonna do it under the Krell Tap camera. Right, 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 right. Yeah, but I don't think Mike was just like, you know, I don't know, just like so focused on Pretty Sweet. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you couldn't even. If the same thing was to be thrown in my face. Now, I probably wouldn't be able to be like, oh, I don't know if I could, you know, Mm -hmm. figure it out. It's a lot to take on when you have like a big major video that's coming out. Yeah, you're just like from out of left field. You're like, I can't even fucking deal with this right now. Right, exactly. So, yeah, I think it was just like, he kind of was just like, can we talk about this like another Mm -hmm. time? You know what I mean? And then whatever. And so it kind of like faded away. Mm -hmm. And then I know, okay, so then there was that, that was happening. And then Dill was kind of around, and then I know Dill was like not happy with uh, um, workshop. And I remember him. He's like, "I'm gonna ask Palace if I can get on." And I was like, "Oh yeah, you should." And like, what? Why not? Dill was gonna ask Palace if he was gonna ask Lev to get on Palace. <clears throat> Dill wanted to write for Palace, right? Okay. Before FA, okay. Which I'm sure you'll probably deny, but like. <laughs> This, this, I remember I've at never, Swingers. Yeah, I've never heard that. I remember him being like, <laughs> yeah, I fucking fuck it, dude. I'm going to ask fucking Palace. Palace is sick. Okay. And I think they asked them, and they're like, nah, mate. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're just like, no, I, just I wonder why they would turn him down. I mean, Dill's fucking dope. Like, <laughs> but I think it was just like, you're not part of the clique. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. stop trying to be part of our clique. Go, you know, like, no. But I mean, whatever, yeah. And he's like, then I think that's like, he's like, fuck it, I'm sorry, an FA is a board company. Because it was obviously the clothing company, Kanye would wear it and whoever yeah. else. But yeah, and then so I think that's what projected FA to get started. But this is Palace like so early on when like they had the big Chanel yeah. logo and Rihanna was wearing it and stuff. And so that's what I think. You've said that 917 was, rip, was a ripoff of Palace. Like, like you said, like inspired by Palace. I think it was bipolar and Palace. Yeah. Well, I just remember after like watching Pretty Sweet and like just being like, you know, I'm not like really into sk- interested in skateboarding right now mm-hmm. or, or where it's going. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like that question of like, well, what am I going to do? What's the next step? You know, mm-hmm. who am I? <laughs> you know what I mean? What's left to ponder. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but like, you know, it does like a little like, but existential for me, crisis yeah, moments yeah. where you're like, ah, oh, fuck, I don't know. And so, you know, I was like, I think 
Bill talking to everyone to be like, oh, dude, it'd be sick just to start your own company. And Bill's kind of the guy that start like, for, you know, the credit is due is Bill like kind of planted those seeds mm -hmm. regardless. And uh, he planted the seed in Brian's head. And I think Brian was just like, same kind of thing of like, I'm older. Mm -hmm. What am I, what's the next, you know, yeah. progression in my career, I guess. And so he, want, he started 3D, which was called Deer at the time. I like that name. And I remember, yeah. And I remember like, yeah, he called me and he's like, would you be down? I'm going to call it Deer. Mm -hmm. D-E-A-R apostrophe. And I was like, fuck. Like, I'm like, oh, that's a really sick name. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm down. You know what I mean? And he's like, yeah, he was just like, oh, it's going to be me, you, and Austin. And I'm like, all right, that sounds a pretty like strong. Like everything mm -hmm. was set. And I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. And so I think... Whatever, I remember going to Girl and then waiting to talk to Rick. And I think, I, I know, I remember Rick saying, like, he's like, because I just waited around. I'm like, when are you going to be done? I need to talk to you. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, okay. Sitting out on and he was couch. like, trying to like, be like, <laughs> avoid me, kind of. Because he's like, I, and then I was like, hey, dude, I'm, I'm going to quit. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just not psyched anymore. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, I knew, I knew you're. This is what that was. Yeah. And he was just like, yeah. Or whatever. They're like, no. He felt the no. vibe, I guess. <clears throat> no, I mean, just me just sit, like, you know, like sitting, waiting. Like, you're gonna, yeah. you done? You done? <laughs> and you're like, no, I'm not done. But I think like maybe like I would have gotten like restless and left. Mm -hmm. But I just, you know, I think I sat, stayed there for like, I like got there at 12 and like talked to him at like six or something. Like, <laughs> something crazy like that. Or I'm just like he's, fucking like. <laughs> so he's like avoiding you like, oh, yeah, I got another right, meeting. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> just like, like, he'll change his mind, he'll change his mind, you know what I mean, like. But what I was going to say before is that, like, I mean, you, you've said that you kind of ripped off Palace, or it was inspired by Palace, but I never saw that. Like, me looking at your company, at it, 917, it, I never would think that. Right, but, no, 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 I think it, it was Polar and Palace that were, like, they kind of gave people the idea, it was like, it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be this, like, super forced team of like mm -hmm. what girl is where it's like eric austin carol you know yeah ba you know like an all-star heavy hitter right like because thing. before then it was it was that yeah. like you couldn't start a company just like i mean maybe you could but like it it, it was very serious too back right in the day. it was like real serious like everything had to be perfect like craziest tricks right 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 but so yeah. i think i think watching the polar video and Pontus had like some line. I'm like, damn, dude, this guy's not like really following the like the standard structure of of what you know, some you know whatever a skate video is supposed to be. He just put out a promo, and it's like not this like big, you know, elaborate like video with like mm -hmm. slow motion and, and like skits. And I'm like, it was just like a really fresh view on things. And I was like, oh wow, mm -hmm. I, I want to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I remember I think I told Rick, I'm like, oh, this is cool. I want to like, just make like a fun like crail tap part. Yeah. And Which is what everybody kind of does nowadays. Right. It's but, like completely flipped from like what we were just talking about, the serious. Well, there is serious, thing. but when you see a serious video, you're just like, you're like, uh, you're like I'm not watching that again. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I'm not going to say any names, but like, you, you know, you see them and it's all dramatic and you're just like, no, thank you. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's um. I, I live I lived this. <laughs> I'm good. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> now that you like have your own company. Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say there are dramatic I'm just thinking like, oh, like Keith Kirchard has like all his parts are like really dramatic mm -hmm. and theatrical almost, but like they're really entertaining and like fun to all oh, interesting to watch. But uh I think now with like the 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 like, you know, like fucking taking the board and like, you know feeling the rail and stuff is just like a little too erotic for me you know what i mean or, you know what i mean the Where drama the fucking, just like, like <laughs> you know what i mean it's like soft porn or something you're just like yo chill man but you know like i was gonna say now that you have like your own company uh, do you see things from the other side that maybe oh fuck, you were yeah. frustrated about as a skater and now, oh, you're, now yeah. you're like oh i get it now like yeah yeah from yeah, a yeah, business yeah. perspective yeah you just want to put your fucking head through a glass <laughs> window and fucking cut your throat and get the blood just no um no but yeah you're just like i don't know just like there's like production shit where you're just like 
hey, do you like this graphic? Yeah, and then like, you know, two months down, like, I don't want it anymore. You're like, <laughs> dude, it's fucking, it's getting made. I can't stop it. You know what I mean? Pre-orders are in. Or just stuff like that, you know? Just like growing pains. Or just like doing a bunch of graphics. And you're like, you guys like these? No, they're whack. And you're just like, oh, I'm walking. You know what I mean? <laughs> just, what you, I mean, it's like having team, kids. Do they say it's whack? Do you? What do you do? Do you scrap everything, or you? Oh, well, you're like, just like, well, I don't know what to fucking do. You know what I mean? You're grinding your teeth, and you're just like, you know. So I don't. Yeah, I don't know. You just want to like be like, I, well, now it's changed. I, 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 when I started nine one seven, I was like trying to like create a theme, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna treat it like how an artist treats his like a solo show, where like there's a theme. A, a basic theme and there's everything will be a theme across the board of, of the season. Mm -hmm. And so that kept happening. And I think I fucking stubbed my toe on the last one where I was like, I did like an all skateboarding one that was all ripoffs of skateboarding mm -hmm. and no one liked that. I was like, oh, everyone will be familiar. Everyone will <laughs> like it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it was too literal. And then it was a flop. And then, so Aiden Mackey, he quit too, no? He writes for, or he... Why well, you gotta bring that up? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, he quit. <laughs> no, um, he quit. He writes for F.A., right? He does write for okay. F.A. Double dip. <laughs> How does that, like, did, was that... Double dip so... A. <laughs> um... <laughs> How was it? I mean, like, how did you deal with that, or how did you take that? I mean, like? I don't want to put the kid on the front street, but, like, the only thing was, uh, I just know he was, he was frustrated. He's like, I don't like my graphic, which I made his graphic, and it was a Donnie Barley board, and I was just like, a smoker, I changed it to a drinker, whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, he was like, I don't like, whatever, he didn't like his image that was portrayed, so, which is fine, I respect that. But I think the way he went about it, I was just like, I was like, yo, like, I heard you're frustrated. You know, like, just tell me what's up. You know, and then, I mean, it was through text, but, mm -hmm. which is fine. I don't know. It's the new age, you know. But, like, I just remember when I quit Girl, it was just, I mean, he didn't ride for fucking Girl or whatever. He didn't ride for, goddamn right, he didn't ride for Girl. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he didn't, uh. He didn't, he, you know, there wasn't that long of a fucking period of time. But yeah. whatever, he just, I was like, I quit, th I quit through text. And I was just like, you chicken shit. Like, you just, you were, you're in town. You could have called me at least. <laughs> I, like, just tell me. <laughs> whatever. It's fine. Yeah. I Look, dude, if the kid's happy, the kid's happy. Like, yeah. I, but I think it, it wasn't even 917. I think it was him, him having beef with the filmer. Oh, okay. So... But it, I mean, even with a, him writing for FA, like you guys are so kind of involved with each other, you know? like through Supreme and I don't know, like mm, you're kind of right. running in the same circles a little bit, no? I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna let you talk. I'll, I don't know. It I'll just I'll seems a little it. awkward. Which one? <laughs> no, what is like? No, like him going from like 917 to FA, like it's it just seems. That's where he came from. Yeah. Oh, we okay. stole him. I'm a little old, so I don't... <laughs> I know. I'm a little Fucking out of the loop. Better, yeah. No, we stole him, so, like... Oh, uh, okay. They stole him back. You know what I mean? Oh, see, I didn't even know that. He's like, uh... You know, he's like LeBron. <laughs> like, went to Miami Heat and went back. You know what I mean? So, so does the team... But do they give you ideas of things that they want to do? And Oh, now it's, it's all, like, this is what we have. Pick what you want. You know, Cyrus makes all, like, all his own graphics. And whomever else that wants to have a Cyrus, because Cyrus comes from industrial design, mm -hmm. which is also a cool thing about 917. We're all college grads, besides okay. me. <laughs> Fucking high school We've been dropout. talking about that a lot on the last few episodes. Of college grads? Yeah, because we had Jamal, and then we had Alexis, and they both graduated from. Well, I'm sorry to break the fucking. <laughs> hey, don't worry. Streak, you, and me, sorry. <laughs> you and me both. Have you had a scholarship, though? <laughs> right? Me? Yeah. Uh, I could have went to art school. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Something like <laughs> I'm that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I could have went to art school, but uh, yeah. They were like, you're going to have to give up your pro career. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Anyway. Anyways, <laughs> yes, anyways. Um. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, whatever. Yeah, he quit. And uh, I'm trying to think of even like, 
he yeah, he just quit. He just wasn't into it. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like basically moving next door. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was, yeah, was kind of getting at. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then with Bianca Shandon, like that's the more fashionable side of things. Even though 917 has now kind of like became that as well. It has? I mean, I don't kinda, think so. No? I mean, skating I mean, so gr- Maybe right? more girls wear it than <laughs> other skateboard brands. Skating is so popular. I mean, everybody likes to wear skateboarding clothes. No? Yeah, but that comes in waves. and yeah. You know what I mean? Like, That's we've true. seen that before mm-hmm. in the past. But, uh, yeah. I mean, like, Chad Muscle was like, you remember all that whole fucking yeah. chariot came through? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> a fucking sky top and everything. <laughs> Paris Hilton on the back <laughs> with fucking... <laughs> Nicole whatever Nicole Richie Nicole I was yeah, gonna call yeah. her Nicole Richards but yeah <laughs> Nicole Richie the yo the best the best is I was out here I remember and I had seen him in front of this this like this, it was like a hot like breakfast spot and I remember like wa- like being oh what up Chad blah 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 talking to him and then like being like down the street and then I see this like SUV oh no I'm sorry that didn't happen I Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, that's that's what happened. I'm sorry. And then this black SUV comes comes out, and the door opens, and Nicole Richie comes out, and then Chad's with with his feet, or whatever I think it was whatever girlfriend at the time, and then Nicole Richie just goes Chad <laughs> and just runs like past her and like gives him the biggest hug. <laughs> it was the sickest thing. I was just I like, I thought Paris Hilton was his girlfriend or something, or, or I don't know. I don't Maybe know, man. Like that Hollywood weird. lifestyle, you know? <laughs> Hollywood, yeah. Hollywood. No, I don't know. I like the Mosca. Who doesn't? <laughs> I used to not when I was a kid, but then you're just like, yo. The Mosca's tight. Oh, he's the fucking man. He is the best <laughs> of the 90s. He is fucking the man. No, you can't, like, doing that epically later. Can I say that on here? For sure. Okay, re- say uh, just relax. Want. Don't get an ego or anything. <laughs> but uh, you know, he just gives the fucking tree a hug. Yo, tree. <laughs> You're like, yo, this guy. What? <laughs> it was the best. It was, I was like, I fucking love this guy. You can't hate that guy. No, he's like, if some, if you don't like him, like, there's something wrong with him. Yeah, he's exactly. Like, yeah, he's like exactly. the best dude ever. Yeah, he's all positive. I mean, just like, have some good times. Yo, Tree. He gives him a, tr- a fucking hu- tree hug. Like, just the way he delivers. It's like, hey, Tree. <laughs> uh, how much do you do you pay a lot attention to fashion and shit like that? Or I mean, like I think I was way, like when I first started it. Mm-hmm. It's it's five years old. We just had our whatever birthday, but uh, I think I romanticized this idea of what it was, and it was kind of new, and it just was something new. And so new things are usually interesting. So mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, I, I don't I don't pay attention to it as much, mm-hmm. but I think when I did, I was like checking everything out. Everything was really skinny and tight, and I was just like, "That is so whack." Mm-hmm. And I think like, I don't know really what what the catalyst was, but like, I think you know, Instagram was just starting to get used as like a tool, and not this just social media thing. Mm-hmm. But everyone started using it as in this weird. Uh, Promotional Prom- tool. Yeah, exactly. In a way where there was more, um, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, it, it was like this, um, I'm lost for words. Whatever, it was just like, oh, why can't I think of what, the word I'm thinking of? I'm trying of. to think of it too, I can. Bad. Um, <laughs> this gets edited, right? <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Oh, no, 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 okay, anyways, it, it, it was, I want to say eclectic mix, but like it, it was, um, no, not nuance. What is, what is it called when you get like, there's an artist, there's someone that brings all the artists together? Uh, curated. Oh, curated, thank you, Jesus curated. Christ, sorry. Curated. Drop out. <laughs> curated, yeah. So it, I think when people started curating their Instagrams mm-hmm. is like when like it, like people really took focus. And then when people were starting to use it in a different way as a tool mm-hmm. to push something. And I think I was just lucky to be at that point in time. Mm, to get involved I don't, I, in the game when the, at that point in time. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> 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 no, but... <laughs> Still here. No. <laughs> we out here, you know? No, but I'm just saying, like, the, yeah, it was just at that point where I was just like, yeah, you know, 
this is this is a, a new thing and uh using it in that way and in that context and uh i don't know i think i mean this is my point of view i could be completely wrong and someone else could be like well you were doing this but i think it was just using it as a tool and then like the, the subject matter of what we were doing mm -hmm. wasn't really celebrated. Mm -hmm. It was known. I wasn't the first to do it, but I think it was more like putting it on this platform of like, oh, this stuff is cool. Mm -hmm. And that was so not interesting at that point. Yeah. Or, yeah, it just wasn't like, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, one thing that I resonated with me was that you were kind of like, really into supporting the LGBT community from an early mm -hmm. standpoint, even before it became like kind of a trendy thing to do now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, right, right. <laughs> and, you know, uh, like what kind of made you want to be involved with that? You know, especially as like a straight male. Right. Um, how do you know? <laughs> Just kidding. No, um, <laughs> sorry. Um, well, I mean, because most people, most people only right. I think support issues that relate to themselves. You know what I mean? It was more that I was interested in that music, mm -hmm. and that whole genre was predominantly gay, black, um, Latino, and I think by using that stuff, it was just like you got to give back somehow. You can't just like take and take. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like there has to be a, a yin and yang, yeah. so to speak. But uh. So I think it was, it was, someone maybe suggested it. I was like, oh yeah, duh, well, of course we should do that. Mm -hmm. it, make, it makes, and I think when you do that, it's just like, I think people get hyped to like support something because it supports something else and it makes a bigger conversation. And that's kind of really basically it, you yeah. know? It was just like, I think there was a woman that had shot the photos of, of like, when Paris is burning, when that there was there's photos from that, but it wasn't the woman that did the cinematography. I can't remember her name. It was a French woman, mm -hmm. and I contacted her on on um, Facebook, but I never heard back from her. And we I think we put, um, w you know, one of the women on the board, mm -hmm. and uh, I was just like, oh, like it's like she's dead this one's not we gotta like do something you can't just like take someone's yeah. you know stuff so you gotta like well, give it good. back out you thought about yeah, yeah I mean, so that's where it kind of comes from you know what i mean and like how can you like and also i just i was like why are these big why don't these big fashion companies give out you know like mm -hmm. do donations like i don't understand why and yeah hmm. i don't know why and i think that's really where it just came from was just like we I mean, can't like it was basically cool. like we're stealing we can't like you have to have a conscience and like give some of it away. If if you're gonna you know profit mm -hmm. off it, at least you have to like share it. Mm -hmm. So that's where it just basically comes from. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know if I would say stealing, but I mean appropriating. <laughs> yeah, I right. mean, if it's something that you're truly you as you as a person, you're truly interest, inspired and interested. By yeah, it. you're not using it as a marketing tool, or you're not just some dude in a douchebag in a suit who's like, this is cool. Like you're truly into it. And to truly, honestly want to use those elements and give back to that says a lot about your character. I mean, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, sure. Thank you. I mean, that's the, that's the way I see it. Want. Yeah. But, uh, well, thank you. Yeah. What about that uh, you walked in the, what is it, the Egg House Lata show? Egg House? Yeah. yeah. What would you how, like, how what would you like how to know about that? Well, I have sure. a good friend that walked in that, too. She's a 60-year-old model named Birgit. Maybe you know. met her. Did you meet her? I, I, you have to show me a photo. <laughs> no. Because I was... Okay, so the whole story was that was... I, I mean, I kind of explained it on the Nine Club. Can mm -hmm. I say that on here? Yeah, you can say Relax. That. Don't get an ego, <laughs> my man. <laughs> uh, anyways. <laughs> yo, uh, yeah, I went, I went on there. <laughs> yo, I went on there, and I was like... I'm all, like My ex at the, or my girlfriend at the time was like would you walk Eck House Lotta show? I'm like, I don't know. It's like so cheesy to like, uh, like the skateboarder 15 year old mm -hmm. came out. I was like, no, it's whack. Mm -hmm. And then I kept thinking about it. And then I was talking to Logan. I'm like, yo, they asked me, I'm going to do it. 
but you come come film it and we'll put it in my video part just to like fuck with people. Yeah. And so that was just like, I only did it to like put it, and I was like, I'll only do it. I told them, I'm like, I, I'm only gonna do it if I can use it, use my footage for the skate video. And they're probably like, yeah, no problem. Like, yeah. okay, weirdo. But how, what I, how nerve wracking was it to walk on Oh, the dude, I had just discovered what a CD, CBD pen was. Okay. Because I had just rolled my, like, destroyed my ankle. Mm. And so I had just bought this pen. And I'm like, all right, cool, I'm gonna go to this thing and I'm bringing this fucking pen. And I had another friend that walked it and she was like, I have data blockers. I'm like, what the fuck is a data blocker? Uh, yeah, 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 I heard about that too. Right, exactly. I'm like, what is that? And she's like, eh, whatever. And she was like sober. I'm like, okay, you, whatever that fucking weird thing mm -hmm. is. But I would go in the bathroom and I would just like, <laughs> just like inhale this thing. And then I would come out of the bathroom and like kept going back and forth, just inhaling a CBD, CBD pen. And by the time I was like ready to walk, I'm like, yo, know, I'm good. And people were like, oh my God, it's so nervous. This is so nerve wracking. <laughs> and I was just like, no, nah, this feels like a demo. This feels like a demo. I've done this before. You know what I mean? I was like high, but not high. Yeah. <laughs> and then my how friend many, that took the data <laughs> block, she's like, dude, you look like the tin man. You're walking like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> she's like, Ch fucking chill, man. <laughs> how, how, how many and looks you see, did uh, you do? <laughs> what? How many looks? Like how many? No, it was just one. Oh, it was just one. But it was like it was just like this huge <laughs> configure that this S that you went and then uh, had to walk back. And I was just like, don't look at anyone. Don't look at anyone. Don't look at anyone. You know what I mean? I, oh, yeah. More power to the people that do it. But it was like. <laughs> And you know I what, mean, now what I forget, oh, I like watch them recently, I'm like, why do these people have the weirdest cadence when they're walking, they're like this, I'm like, oh, I forgot. Because it's fucking terrifying, you're just being judged by fucking 35,000 eyes or whatever, how many people are there. Just like, oh, yeah. You look good. Okay, Don't get an ego. <laughs> Uh, thank you. What's coming up for Bianca Shandon? You got anything, you projects, anything cool? Uh, I just think, I don't know. It's just, it's small operations. So just kind of figuring out how to, I mean, it's our fifth year. So, you know, I don't know. Sometimes you see people that have, uh, I don't know, like, like I've been, it's my third year and they're a fucking huge, huge company. Like, mm. Fuck, what are you doing right? <laughs> But then what yeah. am I doing wrong? Well, you're doing two companies. Right, 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 right. But I'm just saying, like, <laughs> fuck, how did, like, you know, how did you climb yeah. that ladder? And, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of, like, expanding, I guess, in some ways. Or Do making you know? things more bigger and better. But, like, that sounds cheap. But what about just, like, collaborations know. or anything? Like, Yeah, anything I mean, it's, a, it, it's hard. I don't know. It's hard, like... With, I think co collaborations is, is like kind of a dirty word now. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Where like, and when people do collaborations, it's just like that camera right there. It's just like we made a blue one, and you're just like mm, that's not a collaboration. That <laughs> you just colored something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it, it's it's a little over. It's been played out. A it, bit. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like a collaboration, mm -hmm. it's like I don't know when you see like. Yeah, it's just dirty when you see like shoe companies. Like, we're doing a collaboration. We've done a collaboration. You're like, have you? Or do you just like pick the, you know, yeah. up, pick up the coloring book and just said, mm -hmm. these are the colors we wanted. Like, it's not really yeah. a collaboration. I mean, I guess it's a collaboration, but it's not what I think a collaboration is. Mm -hmm. We're like, you're, you're pushing. It has to be a little more thought put into it, like a little more I think so. conceptually. Least, and I, Yeah, I mean, I would like to think that, but mm -hmm. yeah, and then since everyone does it, it doesn't really like, make it special then mm -hmm. either i don't know you ever regret like starting your own companies like there's days where you're like you know what i many wish many days could... <laughs> many days i just want to sit back and, basis, sir. <laughs> and on, like... on the train i'm like why the fuck did i do this <laughs> the fantasy is always idiot. a little different than the reality oh yeah you're like oh my god it's gonna take this and then you know i'm gonna do this and i can do this and just like wait but you it's said rewarding, it was going to be though. here three months ago. <laughs> Where is my fucking delivery? But it's rewarding at the same time to make shit that people like, no? I mean, once it's I mean, all said and done. Freedom's fucking a little <laughs> more better, huh? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think, generally speaking, not from a skater's standpoint, but we, 
a lot of people romanticize of owning a company as this big, great thing and this accomplishment, and it's really not. Well, you only see the accolades from... Right, outside. you don't see the people that, yeah. I mean, I guess you see some of the failures, but like, really, you don't. You don't see the day-to-day of what it takes to fucking make this thing work. Right, you and if you're, if you're like a psychopath that wants that, mm-hmm. you're, you're, you're in luck. Mm-hmm. But if you're just like, no, I want to like, go get an espresso and go <laughs> and fucking be French, basically, and, or Italian, <laughs> and just like, live a good life. I don't know, I feel it's like, we as Americans have of this point of view where it's like, work, 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 until you're fucking just like 60 and you're just like, I don't, yeah. I don't have any, you know what I mean? Well, it's like, the, the, yeah, it's like build a company, sell it for a billion dollars and that's the goal, right? Like it's not just to have a fucking normal life where you're happy getting by every day. It's like, it's an extreme. The uh, goal all of it's is extreme. fucking very extreme. Yes. I very mean, Americans so. are very extreme people. We're, you know. Very. <laughs> yeah, it is. When you go to Europe, you're like, yo, we're fucking crazy. Like, when I go, I'm like, oh, wait, they figured, they've had it figured out for a long time. They've lived long, you know what I mean? They're like generations way before, you know. I was saying that to somebody the other day. I was like, now this new concept of microdosing, it's like where Americans finally figured out, like, oh, you don't have to, like. Do the whole fucking You don't thing. have to do the whole bag. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it's cool. You can do it in like... Just do a little bit. Yeah, you know? exactly. It's like it's a new fucking... It's like the light bulb just went off for right, us. Right, 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 right. No, it's true though. But like I just think this whole thing of like this romanticism of, of, of owning a company and like, yeah, I can build it and I'll sell it and my point of view is different mm-hmm. than everyone, you know, anyone else's. And it's like, it's gross. It's bad. It's like, I don't know. I mean, I can't say because I'm just speaking bullshit on my I'm calling my own bullshit out, but I'm just saying, like, it's not as what it's cracked up to be. Maybe that's what, but also, the difference is I had something that defined who I was before that, where mm-hmm. I think companies maybe define someone or can define someone of who they are and give them purpose, mm-hmm. so to speak. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. So I think coming from something that I'm like, no, wait, I, have it, I had it good, mm-hmm. where now I'm like, oh, sitting on a computer looking at a screen and then looking at your phone and answering emails. and I mean, I'm not complaining. It's still grand and everything, but I, I think that, you know, people really need to uh, take a step back and just be like, it, it's a, this whole entrepreneurial yeah. idea of a lifestyle is not... No, yeah. don't get me wrong. There's, there's a lot of pros and cons to it, but it's not like this like, yeah. romantic thing that just happens and like organically just turns into this... Thing and like, but at the same time, it's good like, to do things for yourself. And of course, not be of course, fucking, not work for someone else. Not work for somebody else your whole fucking life. One hundred percent agree at that. But yeah, um, I don't know. I, I sound like I'm whining, but like, yeah, there, no, no, there, no, there's no. a realization of, 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 of what when I like look back, I'm like, oh fuck, you know. Mm-hmm. Or no, it's it's giving me perspective of like, maybe we sh- shouldn't be doing. We should be enjoying life more so yeah. than just like grinding out and figuring out like oh we need to work we need to work we need to work and i think move to spain like you <laughs> i'm sure i still want to move back one day <laughs> do it why wouldn't you i look at south of france i keep playing in the fucking in my head i'm like i'm moving to south of france next year i i think if that fucking dude with the wig gets elected again i'm going i'm definitely going I like I already said it and I'm like I got one year left I'm already like trying to figure out I'm like okay how could I get a passport that you know I don't know I don't I don't think he's gonna get elected again I'm not sure man. okay <laughs> let's not replay the last the last election but, but uh regardless I'm, I'm not saying that's yeah. the the reason why but like yeah I don't know mm-hmm. They live a much more simpler life. I think it could be like, yeah. And they don't consume nearly as much as how we consume. Oh, not at all. Everything okay, sorry. Is like, everything is like in total moderation. No, no, it's great. Everything is like moderation and they, I feel like personally over there, need. they have a very, they have a more mature outlook of the way life should be lived. Well, they appreciate life. Yeah, they appreciate life. And it isn't like there's 165 mm-hmm. days of mm-hmm. vacation mm-hmm. granted yeah, to something like Something like, and we have a three. We have three weeks or something. No, no. Two, two. two weeks. That's that's cool. <laughs> that's fair. They'll be happy. 
<laughs> what uh, I know you spoke about this before, but like, what made you become a vegan? Um, well, one, Dylan being sick, my grandma being sick, my knee was bug bugging me, mm -hmm. and I think I just like stumbled upon John Joseph, who is a punk rock singer for the Crow Mags, and I think just being like, maybe like, what if I just try it, like, see mm -hmm. what you know what I mean? Like, this guy's doing Iron Man's, and like, yeah, I'm gonna read his book because what I always thought of a vegan was like a new age. Basically, guy that looks like me, but like, hey, brother, but like frail. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, his picture, like, yeah, yeah, frail, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah like... exactly. Just like, hey, man, you know, kind of like a Chris Roberts figure. You know, no disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> he knows he's frail. He knows he's got that body. You know, like a Mr. Bird Burns. Like, bird like. Mr. Burns. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, hey, hey, man, the grass is greener. You know, but uh. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, I was just like, fuck it. And this guy was just like, you know, he very New York, like mm -hmm. made, a, made a book called Meat is for Pussies. And yeah. I think I just read it. I was like excited to read it. And yeah, I just got it, read it. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm gonna fucking try this. And then I would get stomach. I would, you, I, before that, I would get like these debilitating stomach cramps, not mm -hmm. cramps, but just like, well, oh, I don't pain. feel good. Yeah, yeah. Went to the doctor, they fucking put a scope down. They're like, oh, you have a bacteria. Mm. Took stuff, didn't go away. Mm -hmm. And that, yeah, and then I was just like, okay, fuck these guys. Like, once I like learned, like, oh, I stopped, whatever, I don't know what it was. Mm -hmm. I probably just wasn't eating enough greens. Yeah. But so it was like that jumping point to then like learning more, reading just multiple like health books. From an environmental standpoint, I would fucking love to be vegan. But I just don't have the discipline because I just like like white wine and seafood too much. But like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's white just wine. Like, yeah, like I just like. Well, like I mean, I know they. I like drinking I wine. Egg I just like, like like drinking wine and eating food. Like you know. You can do fish. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Drinking you can do wine moderation. Eating, There's eating not, no for. That's fine. as a vegan. No, but I'm saying like I care. Is I what care you're about for. the. Yeah, but I'm saying like I, I I like environmentally I think about doing it. That's what I'm saying. Right. And well, then, there's multiple and then like, things that you can, I mean, I have leather shoes on. I'm not like yeah. by any means a vegan. Mm -hmm. I have a leather belt on. It's just like, mm -hmm. I think your contribution, con I can't even say it. Contribution? Not saying it still. Contribution. Contrib I can't say it right now. Wow. <laughs> fuck. Edit. <laughs> say it really quick for me. Contribution. Contribution mm -hmm. to, uh, to the environment. If you're even like just like reducing it. Yeah is far better than just being like mm -hmm. a glutton and just eat, eating and eating and eating just meat and like not having any yeah. notion of where it comes from or anything. So like you already know, like I, I mean, you I read, read some of the health books, you'll be like, wow, fuck this. Yeah. Or I mean, you can watch the documentaries too, but like, you know, I don't, some people disagree with it. You yeah. know what I mean? It, it has worked for me so far. Mm -hmm. I really don't, I rarely get sick. Until I get like really sick or something, but uh, I yeah I, I really I rarely get sick and I don't have like stomach issues and mm -hmm. I, like generally I don't have like I feel like I used to suffer from like anxiety and stuff like that and I don't really have that stuff as much. That's also just getting older and knowing yourself. Though. Yeah, that's true. But you know, Anthony Bourdain he's always said like being a vegetarian or a vegan is like a first world luxury. I always kind of like tripped on that. But <laughs> no, that's not true. Because I've I've posted something like it's no, yeah, it's a luxury. It's just like because if you're like in the middle of the fucking if, desert, you got it, and you got one sheep, like you got to eat that. I get that. Yeah, that's fine. But like, there's whole religions based off like B Buddhists don't eat meat, mm -hmm. Hindus don't eat meat. I mean, some do, but yeah. like, regardless, like no, yeah, like yeah. Eastern cultures are actually way more vegetarian that's true in, hip mm -hmm. or inclined than we are so i don't i mean i don't know i disagree with that statement <laughs> rest in peace yeah did you see when wrecking ball was making fun of you who's that <laughs> got you bitch 
<laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, what? His snaps aren't even good, though. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, oh I'm just like he was like, a, yo, you a look like a. <laughs> he was like a skateboard is just a dead tree body with, I don't know, something on it. <laughs> Dude, that guy looks like a human erection. Like, what are you fucking? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Like, he's like you don't look healthy, dog. <laughs> you straight look like a porno. <laughs> what I'm saying, like, no, dude, he's got veins coming out. And he's all red. Yo, I see him every, like, you know, once in a while. Just a guy look down in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, oh damn, wrecking ball's right there. <laughs> Oh, this shit. <laughs> God, dude. <laughs> but like his snaps are just so whack. You know what I mean? They're like they're like weird, like big dad snaps. You're like, oh, I'm fucking booze and knots. You're just like, yo, dude, aren't you from Philly? Aren't you supposed to be really quick? I mean, I guess, I don't know. There's some people out there that think it's fucking. Yeah, they're bored. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Oh my god, that was fucking hilarious, man. Does he not? Does he not? Just looks like Viagra in the morning, you know? 65 year old on Viagra. So I guess you don't follow him on Instagram. No, I do not. <laughs> you know? Oh my god. <laughs> And fun, it's funny because I have a really serious question to ask you after that. It's like I, following up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was fucking hilarious. Um, <laughs> one of the things I wanted to ask you is like, it seems like you've, since even back in the days, you've always been very mindful of what, how you move and like the choices that you make. Okay. I think... Is there, I mean, is there truth to that or is it like, you know? Uh, I think, yeah, for sure. I mean, I think trying to, you know, self, I better, mean, better yourself is always a yeah. thing that I'm into, I guess. I think we all are. Well, for essentially. me, personally, like for me, there was a lot of times when I was just like kind of like on autopilot, you know? Well, well kind of just like not really putting a lot of thought into what you're doing mm -hmm. or your actions. I'm just going with the flow of things, you know? That's a great thing, though, by the way. To it's a not, certain it's not, extent. Of course, being yeah. conscious of, like, oh, where am I going in life? But, yeah. like, sometimes it's good to be on autopilot, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, sometimes, I mean, we all have that one friend that's just like, hey, we're all going to go eat here. I don't want to eat there. You're just like, yo, please stop being the difficult one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just, like, be the autopilot, yeah, be, you know what I mean? But, uh, go with the flow, kind of. Yeah, I mean, I definitely have, I can, I'm thinking of, like, three of them right now where you're just like, <laughs> dude... <laughs> I don't want to eat that right now because and you're just like, oh, dude, please. Just, just like, we're all eating here. Why do you have to be the one that's like disrupts all of it? Um, but yeah, I don't know. Being mindful. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. I've read so many self-help books. It's, I could write my own probably at this point. Well, that's the thing. It's like a lot of fucking people have a really serious lack of self-awareness, you know? And they kind of don't do anything to fucking better themselves or kind of know who they are. And, and I, I see that in you, that you have kind right. of like that kind of, you know. I mean, I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> um, I, dude, I honestly think it comes from being like a young kid. I, here, here's a story. So uh, in fourth grade, no, was it fourth? in fifth grade. So I was always in special ed, but <clears throat> Uh, I would have to get on the small, small bus. Really? Yeah. And I was just like, since they would get, I, my route, I would always get dropped off last. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, dude, I don't, like, I miss Power Rangers. You know what I mean? I want to see the cartoons. And I would never make it back home mm -hmm. because all the kids. Because you were last. The last one. Because I was, at, like, not on the route. Because it was poor families, mm -hmm. usually. That, so we'd have to go through whatever. And, uh, yeah, so I was just like, I'm walking home. Mm -hmm. I just was like, because I was kind of embarrassed. 
you know, you get made fun of. And I was just like, I'm not getting on that How thing. How long did it take to walk home? Third, I mean, okay, so it was Lincoln and what's, what's ZJ's on? Come on, dog. No, no, no. no. Um, <laughs> fuck. Lincoln and Ocean. Okay. And then I would, I'd walk all the way. I think it was like a mile and a half. So that's like Marina del Rey to, to, to Santa Monica or something mm, like that? No, more like, like, um, okay, let me think. It was more like Sand Gaps. Okay. To try and think of what, like, Sepulveda. No, 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 stop. <laughs> Just like past Third Street Promenade. Okay. Like, but the very top, tip top of mm-hmm. Third Street Promenade. But for a fucking, I, what, what, how old are you in fifth grade? Yeah, it seems like a fucking eternity. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> you know. Every but I think from that, my point being is you, like, from being th- that age, you sit with your thoughts. Mm-hmm. And I think maybe that's where maybe it started to develop. And I'd go window shop and stuff. I'd go to Toys R Us and be like, oh, I like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or any time I would get in a fight with my dad, I'd just go off and walk and then mm-hmm. come back and everything would be fine. Yeah, but most little kids don't do that. They go fucking sulk in the corner. That's even, that's uh, right. more well, interesting. I don't know. I mean, I would be just like, <laughs> fuck you, duh. And then like would walk, go to Toys R Us, like let some steam off, go and like, I guess I just read. That's what adults do. Well, I that? guess I'm an old soul. What can you say, <laughs> darling? <laughs> you know, but I don't know. Yeah, I would just, that was just naturally, you know, I would just go and like, we, he would snap on me and I'd be like, okay, bye. And then I would go, window shop, and come back. And he, he would ask, he's like, well, what do you go and do? I'm like, I don't yeah, know, just go, go check things out. Eventually you started snapping back or what? I think when I was like not as afraid I could talk back. Because <laughs> now you guys are snapping all the time. <laughs> yeah, but like, it's more me like, stop, stop, yeah, yeah, stop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not, yeah, it's like, yeah, I don't know, him having road rage or something. Mm. But uh, I, whatever. That was like such a chopped up story, but that's wh- where it came from. It's just, mm-hmm. I think, I don't know. That's interesting, yeah. Um, hmm. And you also do music with like, uh, you're DJing a lot with Paul T and Eric Duncan and those guys. Well, you know Paul T. Yeah, I was going to say because we used to hang out with them on Extra Large um, right. at Vermont. That was like the hangout even before like Melrose that was, right, or right, right. Fairfax. That's, that's the fucking. That was the like OG fucking. LA the OG, spot. OG streetwear. Yeah. <laughs> that's like the story that should get explained. Yeah. How did you even link up with those dudes to like start doing music? And- um, I don't, I, probably through Aaron, really, but uh, you know, Paul would throw sarcastic parties mm-hmm. and there would be like the DJ Harvey sarcastic parties and Paul T was sarcastic. Mm-hmm. And so, and he was always into dance music, even when I guess, you know, he was like, you know how he talks he's like yo people were in into wu-tang and like hip-hop and that shit was whack already like we were into dance music because that was like exciting and new yeah. and like he was just like like you, you know he was like really ahead of his time and yeah. he was just like really into dance music and like he taught me so much of about all that stuff like if there would be no bianca if it wasn't paul t you know what mm-hmm. i mean and like he kind of like took me under his wing and like really because sh- i think i was really into dance music but like the carol version where we're like daft punk yeah, yeah it was a little more commercial, it's commercial right and then like paul was just like yo <clears> you <throat> like that shit that shit's <laughs> whack like what are you doing and we're like what no no it's cool right and they're like no they're like you're whack mm-hmm. and there was there was like such a haze like hazing part where they just be like yeah whatever whatever <laughs> i'm like this is cool right and they're like no like, no nah. nah. you know i'm like <laughs> Oh, they're still like that with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's what do you guys actually, you guys throw parties together or like what do you? Well, he'd throw parties, but so Paul did sarcastic. He, you know, he met up with Harvey and started doing his parties. After X Large, he started sarcastic, sorry. And then the evolution of that is he started throwing parties in LA, warehouse parties. And those kind of started growing and growing and I remember going to like a rub and tug party, which was Eric and Thomas Bullock, Eric Duncan and Thomas mm-hmm. Bullock. And uh, I'm just remembering like, what is this? This is, I mean, 
I was on drugs. But you know, whatever. I mean, drugs that make was, things more fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> wow. You know what I mean? Like dancing with my shirt off in front of a fucking bass speaker as big as me. You're like, yes, I like this. I it's like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but I mean, yeah. Anyways, so <clears throat> he's the guy that kind of like schooled me on like he like kind of like moved me in the right direction of like what to like and mm-hmm. like I guess you know you know I don't know they were really really tough with me like they never like were like oh good job <laughs> I mean they would be of course but not not very much so like skate you know how skating yeah. is where like you go to a skate shop or like I'm sure mm-hmm. hanging out on X large you know like yeah. you, there wasn't like there's certain things that just wouldn't fly in yeah. skating you know what I mean For you sure. get haze you know you're like but did you eventually do throw parties? Flip. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you throw a pressure flip? Did you get out of the fucking <laughs> jump over Lockwood? You're not. Carol pressure here. flipped over a table. That was tight. First try. <laughs> Were you there that day? Was it first try? Were you there that day? No, I wasn't there. No, yeah, it was first try. Really? Yeah, he was just like he went and just did it. And we're like, wow, <laughs> the power of my Carol. You know what I that mean? That was sick. And I think that was probably the best pressure flip that ever, ever was done. Was done ever. I mean, how do you pop a pressure flip? No, that's why I was like, <laughs> what? Oh, I didn't know what the fuck it was. That was a big table, too. That oh, was that like- wasn't like mini table. That was like, <laughs> yeah, adult size. But uh, you weren't there? Oh, anyways, yeah. I, was, I would think it was there. It was, he, it was like a, a heavy sesh. Maybe when he, was that the same session where he Nolly Hill flipped? Yeah, 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 yeah. Banged on the thing? Like, mm, Nolly Hill kind of like. Maybe. I think he did that. I was like, whatever, fuck it. Because mm-hmm. Mark, no, Mark Nolly flipped it. That was amazing. Mark did it like in a couple of tries yeah. too. Then Carol did his. And then a couple of people did a bunch of other tricks. Maybe Gino did like Nolly Cab or something. No. That was a different. Yeah. Anyways. Anyway, so do you guys make music? Like, you guys throw parties together or like? We've ma- okay, so we have a group called Ann Co. Okay. And so how that started was through Pretty Sweet, actually. Federico, his friend Alberto Boff, mm-hmm. he is a composer, an amazing composer. And he did, a, uh, so Feds brought him on to do music for Pretty Sweet. Okay. For certain things, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? For like bonus stuff. <clears throat> and, and this dude, you know, um, Alberto can just like literally like a beautiful composer, like can just play anything. And... So I was like, oh, I'm trying to, I want to learn how to make music. And I'd always bug him and I would send him stuff I'd made. And he's like, oh, like, you know, whatever. I think he told Carol, like, oh, he, he can kind of like, whatever. He, he, had, he, you know, he hasn't kind of figured out. Mm-hmm. And so I remember being like, oh, let's go to the studio. And we, I was trying to make music with him. And then I was, I was like, oh, Paul, you should come by one day. And Paul had met Alberto from surfing. Mm-hmm. And so Paul came over one day and then we made a song and it was like, it was called, I think I sent him the song and it was called, it was Boff, mm-hmm. B-O-F. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> Paul was like, Best of Friends? I'm like, no, that's his last name. He's like, oh, that's what I thought it was. I thought it was the group was called Best of Friends. And so I don't know how, and then I think Eric was like, oh, Anco, you know, for whatever reason. And so that stuck. And then we just made like an, a, a song, uh, an EP, I guess, of two songs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, where can I, what do you, what do you got, like a SoundCloud? No, 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 it, it, it was a record, <laughs> it got pressed, it was like, a, it was like, but I want to it, hear it, it, <laughs> it charted for a week, you know, it was like the top seller for a shit. week. Where, where it is, where it is, cool. one, you know what I mean, like, it was people. accolades, I was like, yes, I made it, I had a number one record, <laughs> or we had What's the song had called? The song, the two songs there. I, I can't even remember the names, because like the names had changed so many times. We want to hear I, it. Yeah, you just look up Bianca Shandone and Co. Okay. And they'll come up. Are you and not then, making more? or? Yeah. I mean, various different ways. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, that came out. And then we did a remix. And then we came out. We brought whatever. Uh, issued that out. And then, I don't know. <laughs> and then I've made some various other records. And you spin at the lot radio too, right? I don't want to say spin. <laughs> USB. You touched Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, the lot yeah, radio. You, you, and there was selector. no way. Selector, exactly. <laughs> collage. <laughs> audio collager. Um, yeah, so, yes, I uh, 
play at the Lot Radio sometimes. That it's yeah, only Leo once a month. There too, so. right? Who? Leo Fitzpatrick. A lot of people do. Oh, I don't know. Does he have a show there? I mean, everyone I played. So. Uh, so there was there was there was no wave, mm-hmm. and that kind of just cr- yeah, kind of crumbled, and just like there was no location, so no one was really doing it. And I think they kind of Lot Radio picked up the slack. Mm-hmm. Of, of or grabbed some of the people there, and so that's. And you guys are doing like parties at Good Room too, right? We're doing a party at Good Room. When's it with with the, with my friend, I want Declan. To okay. <laughs> Saturday. Is it every Saturday? March fifteenth. Oh, okay. Like how? No, but like how often? Oh, I don't do it out. I mean, I'm not like I'm mm-hmm. not that ill. You know what I mean? I'm not like I fuck up all the time. I, I would say I'm good by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> I'm embarrassed better than Paris Hilton, but well, like, everybody's their that's own not worst saying critic. much. What do you mean? <laughs> what? I said everybody's their own worst critic. Yeah. This is not. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. So the next one's on March 15th. The yeah. Next party. Or, it's right. Whatever one. Saturday is in the mid of March. Mm. So, yeah. Okay. Sorry, that's confusing, but yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. With all these lifestyle changes you made, like... <laughs> <laughs> Lifestyle, yo. rich you know, and famous. Being sober, going mm-hmm. vegan, you do meditation. Yoga, meditation. Yoga. Have you seen a shift in the way like your life was was going into not that it was ever going in a crazy direction, but have you noticed big changes since you I don't know if they're big changes, mm-hmm. but I definitely think that I think that generally speaking I think our grandparents came from some structure of religion, and I don't think we grew up with that structure. I mean, I can't say speak for everyone, but mm-hmm. I think, you know, that's why everyone's fucking dressing like, I don't know. Wow, this is, I'm, I just like got so caught in like a fucking, <laughs> no, no. In my own head. Uh, no, but I just think like when you look on fucking Instagram and you see kids, and they're just like, me, 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 and all these things, there was like a, a moral compass kind of, Mm-hmm. That led, our, I guess, our grandparents. I'm not saying that it was good or bad, but like, I don't know. I think I, I used to be very like, you know, atheist in some way or as as not as gnostic, agnostic, I, whatever. Sorry, <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I don't. I just think I think like after I've been reading like a a yogi book, mm-hmm. and it's very like, I, yeah, it's just very like. There's no, there's no right or wrong answer, mm-hmm. and it's just you know, be, being like a, a present and aware and all, all those things. And meditation is like a super big one for me, and I think we should all practice it in some form. But I mean, we do. It's just we don't realize it. Yeah, you know, like just walk, just being like not connected to your phone, basically, and just yeah. like being with your thoughts, mm-hmm. and not letting them, letting your thoughts rule you. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, all that stuff. Sorry. Uh, I think the meditation, I went with my, with a, a girlfriend to a, a seminar for TM, mm-hmm. tra- Transcendental Meditation, and uh, that, was, that was like this whole kind of cult thing, and a lot of people like it, but I, I just was like, hmm, kind of seems like Scientology of meditation, where you give them, you know, a thousand dollars, and they teach you a mantra, and Anything like, where you have to give a bunch of money is like a big But it was just like a thousand. Well, okay, the whole thing was that like, they're like, we want to give a thousand dollars. We think this will better the world. I'm like, if it, you think it's going to better the world, you know, you'd make this thing free. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> like, there's the biggest flaw right there. A red exactly. flag. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, so whatever, regardless, I can't speak shit on it because it got me into meditation actually, mm-hmm. because I was like, well, let me try this headspace thing. And like, that was good because it, it like there was goals, and then like you kind of get competitive with yourself, and you kind of the same way of how I got sober, where I was like, oh, I got three months, I don't want to really like, you know, like I don't want to lose those three months, and then you're like, oh, I got a year, mm-hmm. I don't, you know, if I start all over again, I have to start from a year, like, mm-hmm. it's one of those things. So I was like, oh, I have 165 days. I've been meditating for 10 minutes, and like kept going and kept going, and then. I, one day, like the app didn't work. I'm like, wait, I know how to do this. Yeah. Like, I don't need this app anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> so, and then there's so many different, like, once you really, like, I mean, like, skating or anything where, like, you, like, kind of discover one thing, there's so many roads it to means... so many different other, like, 
versions of meditation, yeah. which is really interesting. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think, I mean, I just listen to Tibetan bowls. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I would like to buy them, but they're <laughs> kind of expensive. Like one bowl this big is like $500. Yeah. <laughs> but they're fucking really, I mean, have you ever like actually played with one? I haven't played with one, no. It's pretty, I was just like fu- fucking around with one. and yeah. It's interesting because I, I think that you used to have a bit of a temper and I used to be kind of like an angry kind of dude. Mm-hmm. Pretty much throughout my whole 20s, I was like pretty pissed Resentful. Off. Yeah, I don't know about resentful. Just yeah, 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 same kind of shit. Just like angry. Just angry in general, you know? Mm-hmm. And I don't meditate, but I found that running has really... That's a meditation. It's a meditation. I mean, they... St- I didn't one. know. Right, right, right. I didn't know that it was a meditation, but I run like three, four times a week. Oh, nice. And that has really like helped me to just kind of clear my head, focus on shit. And if I'm stressed about something, then I'll go for a run. Right, right, And right. then everything will kind of just evaporate into... Right, right, right. You know, whatever, oblivion. But. Right, right, right. Changing your surroundings. <laughs> so, yeah, even though I, yeah, it's a meditation for me, and I, it's proved to be super helpful. Like, it's just right. I think clearing that's why your I said mind. That yeah. I don't think people realize that they do do it. Mm-hmm. It's just not in the form of sitting down, closing your eyes, cross-legged, mm-hmm. you know. But, I mean, that's what I do. Yeah. With but, like, uh, skating's sorry, another form of it. I that's don't know. That's true. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, 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 it's really interesting. And then, but I mean, I do like a whole like regimen of like, I do this thing called Nolly. Not Nolly. <laughs> you know? And I'm not kind of, I, I can't, yeah, anyways. Nolly. Uh, it's, it's like where you move your stomach around. Okay. And then I do this thing called Wim Hof, which is a breathing exercise, but it, it comes from yoga. And then I, yeah, sit for 20 minutes. You do this every day, like every morning? Mm-hmm. I mean, unless there was like, oh, you got to get it for a 6 a.m. flight. Mm-hmm. But like, if I have the time, I yeah. will do it. And then if, I, if it's like something rushed, I'll just modify it where I do mm-hmm. everything kind of shorter. But yeah, that's my daily, like, you know, it takes about an hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for much. all of those things? Yeah, for So the each whole one set. is like, okay. Yeah. So each like meditation is like 10, 20 minutes. It, I mean, I, well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And then what? And then I try to read something mm-hmm. after all of that. But it's kind of like I, you know, that I mean, if I have time, I'll do yoga in the morning, mm-hmm. and then read all that stuff. I mean, do all that stuff and then read too. But it's like you're like, oh fuck, it's two and a half hours. I've done all this stuff. I don't want to do anything now. Yeah. You know, you're like <laughs> you're just like lazy at that point. You're like, oh fuck, I did what I had to do today. You know what I mean? You're like, don't want to like tackle emails and shit. You're like. Yeah. No, I'm good. You know, and you're all zen out, and you're just like, nah, shit will figure itself out. I, I, and then yeah, you gotta, like, and then you gotta universe. snap back into it. Yeah, you're just like, yeah, it's like way harder. But no, um, yeah, you know, it's just finding that balance. We spoke a little bit about Dylan earlier. Um, was his, were you uh, there for like witnessing the decline of his health and like, uh, me, per- I, like, I'm an outsider. I didn't know him that well. And, like, for mm-hmm. me, it was just one day he was not here anymore. Right. Well, I don't, you guys were very close. So right. How, how um, yeah, I mean, I, I probably handled it poorly because I was just, like, freaked out and I didn't know really how to handle it. Um, but he, yeah, I mean, you just, I, you know, slowly saw the, de- yeah, decline of it, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. And then he got better. And then I think that's when I started, like, reading about this thing, the books, and, like, I mean, like, I think he, he got out of the hospital. I just remember him just eating, like, ice cream to gain weight. We're like, mm-hmm. me and Bill, like, dude, that's, like, refined sugar. It's, like, totally not good for you. Don't do that. But the doctors had told him but, to do that? Mm, they are just like, oh, you, wanna, you probably want to gain weight. Because mm-hmm. he was, like, you know, rail thin. But then he started, yeah, and then I think it just came back. And then, mm. But <clears throat> he didn't have cancer, and... He did just chemo, and I think what happened is the organs were like just couldn't keep up. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. His organs died basically, which made him die. But uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, you know, I, I wasn't there when his passing. And he didn't have cancer. He did not have cancer when he passed. Oh, okay. He had he had beaten cancer. Wow, that's fucking interesting. So you think that maybe the medication, the the, the treatment that he was getting, it, it, I mean. From my understanding, yeah. it was chemo, and mm-hmm. chemo wrecks your system, mm-hmm. and it, it uh, 
it, yeah, it just was, you know, I think it just, you know, wrecks your organs where, like, vital organs that you need that, you know, like, can't function and, or they can't keep up. And that was the, the problem. Mm. It wasn't, it, it was all the other things because, you know, mm. I mean, you really kill your system to yeah. kill everything and then, like, you build it back up. But I don't know. And then sometimes maybe I mean, you don't I just feel hey, it's it's such a weird, sensitive not for me, but it's a sensitive sh- subject of the matter of mm-hmm. cancer itself, mm-hmm. and everyone has a different opinion on it, and you know. So mm-hmm. when was the last try time to you try it, tread lightly? Yeah. Because I have my views of of what it is mm-hmm. that you know. But yeah, he he did beat cancer. You know, it was like a, a like I think he was the only one. He has some like record. I can't remember what it is, unfortunately, but it, there is some record that he like beat it with this one treatment mm. and was like the only person to do it. Mm. But um, I don't know what that is at the moment. It's you know, but um, I mean, yeah, it, it was sad just seeing the, you know mm-hmm. the the decline of a you know he'd be healthy, you'd see him, then he'd be not healthy, and then you'd see him, and then you know he'd slowly get skinnier and. I mean, we can, you know, we don't even have to put this in there, but, like, do you think he was making, un, un, like, unwise, like, unhealthy choices on how he was living? Like, he'd get healthy. No, I don't, I leave. mean, like, from my point of view, I mm-hmm. can say that, but that's unfair for me to say. Because yeah. um, dude was just trying to live his fucking yeah. life, you know. But I think, you know, like, maybe, the cho- look, the choices that he made, I maybe, I probably would have made the same. If mm-hmm. I didn't do the, re- I I just have a different opinion on it now than I did then, and with uh, the, some of the choices that you've made in your life now, like health wise. Health wise, so. I I just don't think I would go that route. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I I don't think it's, but like it, you know, I I just I know certain people that have it now, and it's like you know they would get upset if I said that. So yeah. it's unfair because I'm not a fucking doctor, obviously. Yeah. But I mean, I just don't think I have. Yeah, I think holistically you can. You can change it, but who knows? You know what I mean. I know people have tried it and it doesn't work, but I think it's a state of mind as well, and that's mm-hmm. the one thing that we really forget about. Mm-hmm. But like again, I don't, it's like such a you know you have to tread lightly. So yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, with health and diet and everything, I think that's the you know and understanding. Like, I mean, I know. Yeah, understanding why like cancer comes and what it, mm. it what it's doing, the you know. Did you see him before he passed, or like? Uh, yeah. I mean, I didn't see him. Yeah. When like I know every. Not like, like the day, but I mean. Well, how, people yeah. flew out, and I didn't know, yeah. like you know what I mean, because mm. I was like, oh, maybe I don't know. I I'm I'm kind of weirdly glad that I didn't because you know I know my dad went. He's just like, yeah, you, you know, whatever. Mm. It just it didn't look like him. You know what I mean? Blah blah mm. blah. But. Uh, I mean, I, I've experienced, I experienced something like that with Keenan where he was like laying, he was, he had passed and he was at the side of the pool and I was at the other end of the house and I, I was like, should I go over there and see him? But I, you know, I always thought right. at the time I put pressure on myself, like if you had balls, you would have went over there. Right. But then now I think that it's, it's an image that I probably would still be fucking stuck in my mind, you know? Right, right, so right. So it's right, hard right. to say like what's. You know, right, right, what's right, 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 and what's wrong, and can't well, be, you can't beat yourself up about fucking those decisions. And, you know, mm, right, sure. right, right, right. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I remember hearing about that story, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, what do you? Yeah, mm-hmm. I, there's no right or wrong yeah, way to act. For it's sure. just like your primal instinct of like mm-hmm. what to do. You know, there's no. Yeah, you did the right thing at the time, mm-hmm. so. Kind of feel a little stupid following up with this question, but fucking <laughs> bring it back um, up. <laughs> um, what what you didn't have any tricks and blessed? What was up with that? Or did you have tricks and blessed? You didn't, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Where was your tricks, man? <laughs> no, I, you know I don't know what happened. I mean, I know what happened. Um, I, I wasn't really invited to the party. No. Come kind on, of. what are you talking about? I mean, of course, like, I think, you know, Bill was like, I want you in the video. And I'm like, all right. But, like, it was just like, I want to get just a couple of tricks of you. I'm like, no, motherfucker, I was in the last one, and now like, yeah. I'm just going to get a couple of tricks? And I was like, but this wasn't even, I'll, 
It was, I went on one trip to Paris. It rained the whole time, basically. I got like a couple whatever things. You know, nothing happened, and then I kind of never got a phone call back. So I guess I underperformed. But, uh, and then I think, uh, you know, they all went to SF, and then I remember Bill being like, why weren't you there? And I'm like, because you didn't invite me. What do you mean, why wasn't I there? <laughs> how, how the fuck should I know when your, what your schedule is? <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? But he's like, yeah. I didn't get an invite. And I think, well, I think to his defense, I think Todd was supposed to like, whatever, I don't know. It just, I, I didn't get invited. And he was like, why didn't you get invited? Why weren't you there? And I was just like, what do you mean? Because <laughs> I didn't get the phone call. So, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it has to do with politics. <laughs> <laughs> really though I think it's really like I think it's it's not being the 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 brand of choice really I don't know well I'm, there's there's <laughs> Yeah. There's theories there's theories to this there's shit. some theories out there <laughs> yeah no but I mean yeah it, it was like it, it, I wasn't really in the mix mm -hmm. you know what I mean Word. and and also to his his uh, defense he was like, it's about the kid he's, of whatever. He says, it's like, it's about the kids. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And mm -hmm. It's like about their, their time to shine. I see that. Yeah. So. How did you feel about the mid-90s movie? Did you like that movie? I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Really? I didn't still see it. I'm proud of Nakel, but like, I still haven't seen it. <laughs> On the plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, I'm not even being mean though. I'm just like, nah, I, haven't, I mean, whatever, I wanted man, to you, see it. it I just haven't, yeah, just like it slipped. <laughs> you know, like some, some people hold their kids and they fall out of their arms, you know, and I, I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm sure yeah, there's always, a yeah, 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 there's soon. always Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> No, I don't know. You, yeah, I was mean to Jonah because he's like, I'm going to make a skate film. I'm like, nah, you shouldn't. You told him that? I'm like, it's really, no, I, I mean, I said it in a nicer way, but I was like, probably not the best, like, it's going to be really hard to do that. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't. You pulled it off. I, I haven't seen it, so yeah. I can't say. I mean, I feel like he pulled it off. No, I mean, it sounds yeah. like, you know, it's, I've heard it's really good. I heard Nakel is like amazing. You know what I mean? Yeah. But. I have not seen it yet. Mm. I'm sorry. You, know? you never saw Jonah like back in the days? No, he wasn't around. Did you? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I mean, even if we, even if <laughs> he was kidding. there, I'm we just wouldn't fucking with him. He was just a little squirt in the corner. We wouldn't even have noticed like who he was. You know? Shalom worked there. You remember him? Dude, I remember the name, but I don't fucking remember. I can't put a face to it. Whatever. Anyways, uh, no, but I do remember seeing Jonah around and uh, like skate skating when like Supreme in LA just opened up and. Uh, I remember like Super Bad had just come out mm -hmm. and he was like skating. I don't know if it was on a longboard or not, but like he didn't have the best control. Mm -hmm. I just remember like he like got off his board and like started running and there was like these two Japanese people and he just like ran into their crotch. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and, we're, like, and he just like ran off. It was, uh, it was so weird. It was so awkward though. Like he like, like, like. His face was like in their crotch, and he like looked up and like, <gasps> and like just like this was on a longboard. <laughs> I think so. I, that's what I remember. Him and Sarah Michael. Oh my god! <laughs> you know, just like it was like super bad. Oh, but Michael live. Sarah. <laughs> oh, that's his name, Michael Sarah. Sarah Michael. Yeah, I think it's Michael Sarah. I could be wrong. I don't know. You're, you've been you're a Hollywood dog. <laughs> <laughs> so I only got a few questions left. You tried to quit skating like a few times, or you were over it. A couple times in your life, what what was it yes. specifically about skating that you? What was it that made you like? I mean, there's different reasons at different times. With, yeah. um, I think I rode for Vans at one point. I remember Robin. I it was just like I, I remember going on a trip with Ave, and we went to New Mexico, and I was just like, yeah, I fucking do not like this place. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? No, nothing against New Mex New Mexicoans. Mm -hmm. Or whatever you would, how you'd say the natives of New Mexico, but uh, I, yeah, I was just like, it was just hot and like New Mexico is dry, hot, and there's just like you're eating fucking Del Taco or whatever, and you're just like, dude, get me out of here, you know what I mean? And at that point, I was Hollywood, so Hollywood. I just wanted to go to like, you know, 
get drunk and <laughs> like go, go hang teddies. out with girls. Or that was something. the yeah, name exactly. of the spot, Teddy. Teddy's, that's what I said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah go to the Roosevelt you. and be like, yo, I want to go on Friday night to Roosevelt, <laughs> Oscars DJing. You know what I mean? Like, I want to go you know, kick it with Dylan. Yeah. You know, that's where like nightlife beef and all that bullshit comes from. But that, I mean, that, at that point, I was just like, yeah, I didn't want to skate. I wanted to like go and hang out with girls and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, this is like whatever. It was just like you know, hot. You know, mm-hmm. like hay bells going by, literally. And you're just like, I remember rooming with Abe and be like, whatever, dude. Like, and it was kind of arrogant. And then I just was like, yeah, if I can't like get anything, I'll just go and do like feeble, what I uh, feeble revert on that rail. And and you know, Abe kind of struggles getting or he doesn't have the easiest time getting tricks he has to work for it he has to work for it exactly and so he fucking snapped on me what motherfucking da, 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 da. i was like whoa chill fuck off man I what just is saying, what is what you want to do why did that because he's him? out there trying uh-huh. and i was just like nonchalant and i was just like yeah whatever if nothing works out i'll go back and just do that mm-hmm. you know what i mean which I don't think is even really that arrogant. I don't arrogant. think it's that arrogant either, actually. To tell you but, but, like, it was just, like, me just, like, telling, like, oh, yeah, but like, whatever, like, we'll figure something out. Nothing, yeah. you know, works out. We'll go back there and get mm-hmm. that, and we'll have something for the article. I just remember him snapping. I'm like, yo, whoa, fuck this. And I think it got back to Robin in maybe a, a weird way. And she's like, dude, if you're not into skating, no one's making you do this, you know? Mm-hmm. And that just threw me into a fucking, like, whirlwind of, like, I had no talents outside of the real world. What would I do if I got hurt? What, who am I? You know what I mean? Mm. At 22 or 24, I can't remember. But yeah, I was just like, uh, what, like, then I started like looking up like schools and being like, what could I do? In ca- like what makes like a good salary mm. that isn't, I don't need to like spend a fucking four years at high school. I mean, wow, high school. Yeah, high school. But no, uh, college. Yeah. And so I started looking up, like, I was like, hmm, hairstylists seem like they, like, get a, I, like, saw shampoo. I'm like, they got to figure it out. They're sleeping with a lot of girls or something. Yeah, I want to do that. You know, so I started looking at this place called Michael's to become a hairstylist. Seriously? Yeah. And I was like, fuck it, dude. Have you seen shampoo? It's pretty dark, actually. And it's dark that I'm even saying it right now. But, like, yeah, it's like this whole, like, thing of this this player basically being like cutting all these women's hairs but he's sleeping with all of them and about making a good salary and like at the end of the movie he's like alone by himself you know what i mean You're like oh wow i haven't seen it i'm gonna i'm gonna no it's it. good one baby <laughs> but anyways i was you know 22 and i was like okay yeah so why how why didn't you because it was like i was like looking into it and i'm like all right and it's like you need uh 1200 hours okay and I'm like, 1,200 hours? Who has time for that? I'm like, I was like trying to figure out, I'm like, and I'm like, I'm like how many sick days do you get? Because I was trying to figure out, I'm like, maybe I could do it. Maybe I could do it. And then, I, yeah, I just, you know, I, it was like, no, this is not, I can't have a skateboard career or life and do Michaels and get my, like, certification to cut hair. So I'm like, fashion photographer. Because <laughs> my dad has a friend, you know, has a friend Mario, and then his hairstylist Bobby, mm-hmm. and so I've known them for a long since I was a kid. And I was like, oh, they don't, you don't have to go to school for that. Mm-hmm. And so then I'm like, oh, you just have to assist, and you just pick it up as you go. Yeah. And so I started assisting, not Mario, but other people, learning how to like shoot fashion stuff or trying to learn at least, and. uh that's, that's how that kind of organically grew into that. And then, because I was just like, I'm over skating. I've worked so hard to get to this, this point, And I'm at this point. I'm like, I'm pro now. And like, I'm, I'm maybe getting a shoe. I'm like, but this is why, like this, I, I didn't sign up for this. It's all like, it's turned into a job now. I'm mm-hmm. like resenting this now. And so I was just like not into it. Mm-hmm. And so that was like kind of the, my whole time on Vans, unfortunately. And I was just was like, nah, I'm not, mm. not, not trying to film. <laughs> because also I was so scarred. You you I was scarred from fully flaring. <laughs> because I was just like, dude, yeah. fuck that, dude. And, but it wasn't like this light thing where you could just come out with like 
a cruisy part and just be like everyone accept it. People yeah. would be like, you're fucking kicked off. Mm -hmm. So like there wasn't room for that yeah. at that time. And so basically, yeah, I think that was just like, I'm not, I'm not filming a, a full part, fuck that. Like mm -hmm. I've done that. Or I don't know, or I was filming with Bill. Like if you probably compile all the footage, loose footage might, might make a part, but I was just like not into skating at that point. And skating was at a weirdly weird yeah. stale point at that point. How would you get time, re, I mean, re, like what got you more psyched on it again? Like was it like I think bands I think or? I was just like uh, uh, I think Hunter hit me up and I was like, "Hey, when's your when's your contract up?" I'm like, "Actually, I, I haven't signed my contract. It's in, been in my car mm -hmm. for the last five months." And he's like, "Oh, really? Do you want to? Would you be willing to? Do you want to ride for Nike?" I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah." <laughs> Because I at that point too I was just like, because I had quit Lakai <clears throat> to get on Vans because it was so, it was so all one sided. It was like mm. Carol's on or not just like everyone's on the same company. It's like there's all no your eggs in one basket. Yeah. Kind of, but there's no diversity. It's mm. just like chocolate is Lakai, mm. girl is is mm. you know or Lakai is girl. You know what mm. I mean? It, it didn't like the line. The lines were blurred over there, and I, I it always bugged me for whatever reason. And so when I quit that. I quit because I'm like, I want to be on a team with other people. So when I travel, I get to go on a trip with Ave or Dylan or mm. whoever. Well, I got on Vance. He, Dylan quit. Mm. I was like, oh, come on, dude. I just got <laughs> on to fucking kick it with you. And then, like, I had gone on Quicksilver and he quit that too. I'm like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> and they went to Gravis. He's like, dude, we're going to do Gravis. I'm like, Gravis? <laughs> You're fucking bugging, dude. Good luck. I'll see you when you get back. You know, I'm like, Gravis, dude? I was like, that sounds nasty, dude. Oh, God. And then what? Was all right. <laughs> Yo, but like, the Gravis before Dylan touched yeah. it was like, that fucking weird G, yeah, like, yeah, dude, that shit. shit was bad. It was a lifestyle brand before that. Like, the shoes you couldn't even skate in. Dude, they were, it was like weird, like, mini snowboard boots, mm, basically. Exactly. You know what exactly. I mean? Like, <laughs> it was like the half cab snowboard boot. We were like, oh, this is cool. And you're like, nah, dude. Snowboard boots are whack already. Like, I don't want to put them on, like, normal size. Anyways, so, yeah, he was going down, grab us, and I'm like, who's going? He's like, oh, like, Arto, me, so-and-so. I'm like, ew, dude, what? The team was pretty solid. No, and then he came out that part, and I was like, okay, that was pretty good. You know what I mean? You're like, I'm sorry I judged you. Can I get on? Please? You know? Pay me? <laughs> please, please, please. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was on Vans, and I was like, and then I was just like, I'm not really friends with anyone on this team. Mm -hmm. Not in a bad way, but I was just like, Oh, this kind of sucks. Yeah. Like it was way more fun to go on trips with Mike and Rick and like all having that click. But I didn't realize that. Yeah. But then BA, so you know, it was like yeah, either you skated for Lakai or Nike, most of the girl team. Yeah. And so I was just like, all right, progression. And then the Hunter called me and offered me, and I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, I'm down. I'm really down. Mm -hmm. Like FedEx me this contract now, please. You know? And well, you know. <clears throat> I can personally say I'm glad you didn't quit skating. Thank you. <laughs> I think that you're refreshing to the game. I think you have a lot of opinions. <laughs> and that you, that I think skateboarding needs people like you to keep it. Why, thank you. Keep it interesting. Thank you. So, thank you for not quitting. Are you cutting me off? <laughs> I was, there was, was more of the story. Is there more? You got some more? Oh, yeah. That was, just, that was the one. That was the one. You know what I mean? And then, no. that, and then Pretty Sweet came out. Because I wasn't filming for Pretty Sweet. I'm like, no, fuck this. I've done this, this whole thing. Mm -hmm. When they start, doing, start running ads, that means there's two years left to film for the video. Mm -hmm. I'll start filming when I start seeing the, the fucking logo that was like the name of the video and everything. Yeah. Which is so cocky and insane <laughs> to be. Like, well, I mean, it's like you, the fucking tortoise and yeah. the hair, basically. Like, I got this. You know what I mean? If you got it, you got it, though. No, no. I don't think I have. But anyways... <laughs> <laughs> that the, that part doesn't really reflect yeah. that, but anyways, but uh, yeah, I think I got on Nike, and then like I think anytime you get on like a new shoe sponsor or and it's a new sponsor, 
it like brings a whole new like okay yeah fuck I'm psyched mm -hmm. and so then like I was started to film so predominantly all my like footage in that I'm wearing Nikes and there was like only six months left to the video and whatever <clears throat> that happens blah 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 girl changes that you know I I, I go off that and then I get bummed I think I get bummed again I'm like uh this is not what I want mm -hmm. you know what I mean I want to do other things blah, blah blah and then I think I started Bianca and then I started 917 and I was like oh fuck and then I, I was filming a whole I was like all right I gotta film a promo I've got to film a, pro, a promo and so <clears throat> I wasn't trying to have a team I was filming a promo and so a lot of that got used for the 917 video but uh before that Bill was like oh Supreme's got a, a, sh a sh new shoe they're coming out with. Would you film for it? I'm like, yeah, but I'm trying to film a promo. Like, I, like, I don't really, like, I'm down to film for it, but, mm -hmm. like, I kind of want to film for my own thing. Yeah. And so all that footage, all the, like, footage at uh, Republic, I was like, if I, get, whatever, I was just like, yeah, I don't know. I was, like, trying to use it, and, like, he was, I don't know. There was, just, like, that dispute of, like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to use it for my video. You know, mm, the back and forth. And all right, that. right, right. So, like, all, all, like, yeah, if you collected all that footage from that time, it would have been, like, my part, but it slowly got fucking picked and, you know, <laughs> pecked away. But, uh, but yeah, starting another, like, starting 917, I was, like, psyched, and then I was, like, all right, I'm filming, a, trying to film a part, and, like, I don't know. I need to probably like start a new company to like get psyched again. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I think that's like, you know, you got to find, like, refine, like, the love for it yeah. or something. And like, that can get challenging at times. For sure. Oh, so, totally. I don't know. I mean, what's next? Where do you go from here? Like, what? what? I don't know. I'm kind of old these days. Uh -huh. I said I'm kind of old these days. <laughs> oh, really? Have you seen nah. Instagram? Have you gone on Instagram and looked at what fucking kids do these days? Yeah. The darnest things. Yeah, I've seen some shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they really fucking. <laughs> I mean, there's this shit. Yeah, but they're not. Like, they're not Alex Olson. You've made a mark in this fucking shit. Not kidding. And, yeah. And you, you know, in more ways than just one on and off your skateboard, like. Right, but so, regardless, still, yeah. you like look at that. You know, Gino even says he's like, you want to do. You know, when you want to keep up with mm. whatever, you know, your ability. You don't want to just, like, slack off. Yeah. But. What about outside of skating? Like, where do you see yourself going? South of France. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I don't know. I mean, I've gotten really into surfing where I'm yeah. like, I suck at surfing. But I'm like, in some weird egotistical part of my brain, I'm like, I could film a surf part. Hey. No. It's like so crazy <laughs> to even think that. You could put surf tricks in a skate. I wanted to do that for pretty sweet, and I couldn't. No, I been, didn't. Didn't I didn't surf? <laughs> oh, you weren't surfing at the time. No, I was just uh, like, oh, I gotta get, I gotta get towed in or something. You know what I mean? Like, it's not the, yeah, the paddling's the hard part. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, no, but like, yeah, I don't know. I've gotten into surfing, so I'm like, oh, you know, yeah, I don't know. There's no waves in the south of France. Um, there's a lot of waves actually. <laughs> you gotta go onto the other side to Biarritz. That is the south of France, sir. <laughs> well, the south of France on the Mediterranean side. No, that is south of France. They consider that the south of France. South, going well, there's, downwards. There's two sides. There's two oceans. There's the Mediterranean. There's two sides. There's two. Uh, point, two. <laughs> there's the Mediterranean side. Tomato, and the, tomato, uh, sir. <laughs> yeah, but geographically speaking, That's, from north where would you, to south. Where would, what part down. of south of France would you like to live in? I don't know. I've never been there. So it's like another crazy, another, you know, <laughs> just more crazy shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Horse gore? Yeah, horse gore. Horse gore. Yeah, I'm probably not. We're both <laughs> probably not saying it right. But yeah. But then someone was like, dude, that's the worst place. That's yeah. like the fucking new port of France. Yeah, it's like where all the surfing is. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, no. Really? Don't say that. I, I want to like just keep it as this like this idea in my head that it's like this pretty place. Anyways. Well, hey, man. That's it? That's all I got for you, brother. Damn, I thought we were going to get, like, really deep. <laughs> ben made it sound like you get, like, really deep and scary. <laughs> no, I, I think that we got pretty deep. We did? No, what do you guys think? What do you want to get deep? It wasn't deep. Yeah, see, what do we get deep about? <laughs> deep house. <laughs> no, that's about it. That was Episode real. nine. Thanks for tuning in. Alex, thanks for coming through. I appreciate it again. Yeah, no problem. Peace.